Hello, everyone. Uh, first things first, can you hear me? Can you see me? Am I still moving? I'm still moving, I think. I don't know, something seems off with the lighting today. Uh, but so far, I think, I think maybe, if you can hear me, I don't know if you can. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Okay, good, good. <laughs> Tech stuff hates me right now. I don't know what's going on. I feel like I can't go a single day without, um... Oh, also, I forgot to open the the stream label thing back up. Mm, it feels like I can't go a single day without like a tech issue at the minute. So I'm sorry about the uh, slightly delayed going live today. My stream deck isn't working, so I can't even press buttons to change scenes today. It's a sad life. Anyway, <laughs> um, hello, everyone. Welcome on in. Uh, as usual, I will kind of take my time and go through chat and say hello to everyone. But I hope you're all doing... Um, I hope you're all doing well. I hope you all have had a good Sunday so far. Um, we're starting to enter the part where like, because of my roots not being touched up, it all seems very flat at the top. And I always like notice when I'm on stream. Anyway, <laughs> welcome everyone. Happy Sunday. I hope you're doing well. Okay, that also refreshed. That's good. That's good. <sighs> Double digits Lee finished my third island ever yesterday. Only started its three weeks ago or OP. So it's pen stream drawing the map and stuff. Super hyped to restart soon. Hope everyone is having a lovely day. <laughs> that sounds really exciting, Schmuggy. Have fun. Okay, first I will go through the um early squad. Sorry, that was my PC, not yours. Um Where's the floof? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um, Alexis, I'm sorry. The floof, like the little sheep isn't showing up. Thank you so much for the brand new sub for three months in advance. Thank you so much. Enjoy the emotes. Enjoy the badge. Enjoy your ad free viewing. And thank you so much for the support and trust. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, also, Mia, thank you for the, th 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 thank you for the 34 months. <laughs> the energy train and you are on board. Woo -woo! Wow. Woo -woo! No, I'm just, I'm just very, I'm just happy that the alerts are never glitchy or anything. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, um, Mia, thank you for the 34 month resub. Thank you so much for the continued support for such a long time. Uh, and I hope you'll continue to enjoy your time here. And then Shmaiki, of course, also, also thank you for those uh, 10 months uh, already. Thank you for the 10 month resub. Thank you so, so much for that. Oh, I'm, oh my God. I did show up there. I did show up there. Uh, Shmaggy, have fun drawing your map and congrats on uh, finishing your island. Thank you for the support. Uh, Kirshi, thank you for the 100 bits and for starting the hype train. Persephone, also thank you for the 100 bitties. Um, so we still have the train very far off to the back, but but it's there, it is there. Um, and then uh, Chrissy and Paulina, thank you both so much also for the 100 bits. And Mooncatza, thank you for the 500 bits. Thank you so much for the uh, 500 bits. That's a lot of support. Thank you so much. Also, by the way, uh, Mushroom Soup and Data Girl, thank you for those follows. I appreciate it. <sighs> I appreciate it. Um, also, 18, thank you for the 100 bits as well. Hello? I so okay, I was gonna say you better have your own special like wagon thing. Look, MK, holy crap, I still don't have an alert for you. I still don't have an alert for you. Thank you for 10,000 bits. That is way too much. That is way too much. We've got we've got a lot of yeah, MK tripped again. I, I MK, thank you. That I don't even I can't even express my thanks for that. That's a whole lot of bits, like at once. Did and she? that's a lot. Thank you. Yeah, the big alert should be just, yeah, or just Did be she? screaming, just generally me screaming. 
Oh gosh. Well, MK, thank you so much for 10,000 bits. Thank you for that like big, big amounts of, of support. I really appreciate it. Um, and I, I hope you enjoy your your um, extra special wagon there. Thank you. I know not who you are, nor how I came to find you. But may I just say, hi. How you doing? Uh, I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm overwhelmed right now, but good. Apart from that, thank you, thank you. <laughs> uh, Kirshi, thank you for another 100 bits. Kat, thank you for the 100 bitties. Also, um, Anu, thank you for, is it Anu? I, I hope it is. Uh, thank you for the 100 bits as well. And also, thank you for that brand new sub. I think it was you, right, who subbed off stream. Thank you so, so much for that. What a lovely calm Sunday, I know, right? Happy St. Patrick's Day, my love, and thank you for all 20 amazing months. I hope you're wearing green. Otherwise, I'm having cut cam pinched dead booty. Oh, sorry. I I am a little bit. I've got, I've got, can you see? I've got green socks. Why did I do that? I don't know. I wear, I'm wearing green, though. <laughs> I'm wearing green socks, okay? <laughs> can we just start the stream over? I feel like it's not, it's, I, it didn't go super well. Anyway. Um, Kata, thank you for the 369 bits as well. Thank you for that support. And then Kat, thank you for the 20-month uh, resub at Tier 2. Thank you so much for that continued support at Tier 2. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate it. Um, Y'all, I haven't even said hello to you. It's level 6 hype train. Bits have been dropped. Stuff has happened. People have subbed and resubbed. Thank you. Thank you. So much for the very chill Sunday support. Okay, we also have the early squad today. We've got Bambi, Chrissy, Mia, Kat, Persephone, uh, Turtles, Mac, Paulina, and Schmeige, and Kata. Welcome on it, everyone. Thank you so, so much for being here so early on um, and for, for hanging out before the stream started, as also a few others did, I think. Um, and then we got a couple of Lurk uh lurks and stuff i think i will tackle those as i go through through chat and i know i'll start saying hello to everyone <laughs> oh my god and i still need i still don't know how to make the train not be, i mean stop glitching out of the screen please i don't get it <laughs> I don't get it. I really don't understand it. Oh my gosh. Um, also, Coco, thank you for the gift at sub two. Let me see. Do I see who that went to? Um, oh yeah, Moon Chronicles. Uh, if you're here, I hope you enjoy the emotes and the badge and make sure that you say thank you to Coco Banana Bright and Coco, thank you for the gift at sub. Thank you for the support as well. Ah, oh, happy Sunday. Am I right? Happy Sunday. Uh, Chrissy, welcome on in. Bambi, hello. Vanessa, Persephone, hello. Welcome on in. Um, Kat, welcome on in. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, my sound was just completely gone. My stream deck isn't working. I did uh, the OBS update right when it came out, which was a stupid mistake on my part. I should not have done that, but it was just like an automatic thing, I guess. So, um... <laughs> Yeah, uh, Mia, welcome on in as well. And let's see, let's see, Clara and Kata, welcome on in. Uh, Shmaggy, did I say hello to you just yet? I said thank you for sure, but I'm not sure if I said hello to you. Welcome on in. Um, let's see, Saribot has joined. That's good. Lauren, hello. And Mushroom Mello, welcome on in. Um, MMM Savage, hello. And Demon Kai, Pia, welcome on in. Turtles, hello. I've missed the last several streams. I'm so bummed I missed the beginning of a new island. Looking forward to catching up. Oh yeah, no worries. I mean, you know, streams are on the YouTube channel in case you ever want to watch it back, but I'll catch you up on everything that is uh, that is necessary. Kershi, also, thank you so much for the 193 bits. And thank you everyone so much for that hype train. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye to the train. Bye-bye. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> holy crap thank you again so much for all those bits and the subs as well thank you oh i didn't get an emote it told me i have all the emotes so that yeah okay well whatever <laughs> Ooh, another 2020 emote okay twitch is just scamming at us at this point so you know Gosh, also Bottle Sunshine, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. And then let me say hello, continue saying hello to everyone. MK, of course, welcome on in. Just finished the VOD from Wednesday. Nice. Welcome on in. Also, uh, is it Nene or Nini? Welcome on in. Um, and also, Cole is hello. Viola, welcome on in. Uh, Clara, and I think Thomas as well. Enjoy your lurks. Welcome on in. I hope we're doing well today. Let me check. 
Let me check, let me check. Yes. And also Mushroom Mellow and Jar Your Lurk, uh, Nadia and Wallflower as well. I hope you're having a good uh, Sunday so far. Marley, welcome on in. Moth, hello. And Cat, welcome on in. Beffy, hello. Um, mm -mm -mm. This will be the first year I watch entirely. Nice. Welcome on in. Also, Christy Cream, hello. Mm, Won't Cat's the welcome on in. And then Kershi, welcome on in. Yeah, I accidentally, I don't know, I was like in the in the zone and I, I turned on the captions and I think I said something in German to Kat and it can't like understand German and so then it tries to kind of figure out what I said, what I could have possibly said and and apparently I said I can and I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't anything. <laughs> Is it brighter than usual? Is that it? that's that's my that that was just my switch screen i don't know some something something's weird today i don't know <laughs> okay alec welcome on in hello and then spoopy baby doll also welcome to the chat welcome on in and nails are still wet i can't type so fast Ooh, uh chrissy what color did you do if you want to share let me know also, Beth Cookie, welcome on in. Welcome to the chat. Um, Dahlia, hello. And Career Peaches, welcome on in. Oh yeah, happy St. Patrick's Day. Is anyone celebrating? Because I'm not. I don't really think it's a it's a thing. It's a flurry glow. <laughs> I don't really think it's a thing in, in Germany per se, but are any of you celebrating today? Let me know. Um... Even watched the good old uh, 2000s Disney original Luck of the Irish yesterday. Oh, I have a huge Excel file. Ex is it? Oh, by the way, I think actually it's not Excel. It's Excel for y'all. In Germany, people say Excel, which I don't know. Um, but yeah, I have a huge file to finish for tomorrow. I cannot concentrate. I hope the stream will help. We will do our best. We will do our best. Also, Cece, enjoy your lurk and Mac, enjoy your lurk as well. Um... And thank you for Paul Mescal, Ireland. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, hey, it's Mars and also Aster's Archive. Thank you for those follows. Welcome on in. I hope we're doing well today. Alexis also with a new introduction. Hello, my first time catching the stream from the, the beginning. I'm Alexis and I've been to her videos like no other. Thank you. Alexis, welcome to the Twitch side of things. Uh, I need to go pack as the mister and I are off to the forest for a few days tomorrow. Ooh, Mac, have fun. Uh, I, hope, uh, I hope the packing will go well. X Excel, yeah. Ex we say X Excel is weird, right? It kind of it seems weird if you've grown up with it being like Excel. Yeah, Fragnan, hello. And enjoy playing Baldur's Gate. Hello, hello. Michelle, also welcome on in. The German version says Neue Einführung. Wait for what, Mia? What says what? What does what says Neue Einführung? <laughs> Also, Mel and me, welcome on it. Thank you for the follow as well. I want to do some code shopping today. Yeah, we're going to try to do some uh, code shopping. And honestly, I don't really, I'm kind of lost. I might need your help because I don't really know what type of codes I'll need for this island. Um, but we're going to do some code shopping and then maybe we'll already kind of uh, start some decorating or just a little bit of planning, I think. So kind of... Um, Oh, for the new chat message. Oh, the new introduction. Okay, okay. Neue Einführung. No, that's kind of wrong. Neue Vorstellung. Yeah, new introduction in English. Einführung is so weird, though. That really is weird. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, let's see. Everything works. That's good. Uh, also, Anu, welcome on in. Welcome to the chat. And Ivy, hello. Welcome on in. Don't get me started on me and technology were enemies and not that enemies to lovers kind. Yeah, no, me neither. I try. So I ordered a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, I also burnt, just burnt myself before stream. So that's kind of, it's just all going wrong. Um, I ordered some new cables and stuff. So because I had the issue uh, at work when I did like, we did like daily meetings every morning at nine and I use my camera for that, like through, we meet up in Discord and I use my camera through my cam link, but somehow I think 
I don't know, either some of my settings are weird or the cam link and the camera are like almost too powerful for a Discord because every time that I wanted to share my screen in addition to having my camera on, um, my camera would freeze. And that obviously is not really great, uh, especially, you know, being in a, I guess more or less, I guess, I don't know, more or less professional uh, surrounding. It's not like the, you know, can't seem weak or anything. It's like a very comfortable environment so far, but um, like all things considered, I still don't want to be the tech noob, you know, and I feel like so. And then I ordered a bunch of cables and I now ordered a webcam. I now have a little webcam in, a, in addition to my camera. So there's now a big, uh, two cameras looking at me. Um, I did test it, though. I basically got it for my job because that would make things hopefully a little bit easier. We'll see. But I did test it and I can now have uh, I can have basically the webcam and the cam link both active in Discord. Uh, now the colors are very, very off on the it's a, the Logitech C920S or something. I don't know. It's like a very, a very basic I think that's like one that a lot of people use. But so I've got that one and I can have them both active on Discord. Now the colors are very weird, but this way it now is an option if we ever do want to do something where, you know, we, I don't know, build some Lego or, you know, do a puzzle or something, then I could probably use the webcam for my face, which wouldn't be as nice of quality, but I think that's okay. And then I could have my other camera like tilt downwards. So, you know, nice little, uh, nice little side effect. And then I also ordered a bunch of cables with it and I rewired some of my stuff and I tried to do some cable management and like, oh my God, the, um, ups and downs I went through <laughs> as I was doing that. Uh, and then still, every time I start a stream or every time I want to record something, yesterday I, hey boss, uh, yesterday I wanted to record stuff for the Encanto video and every time I started the recording in OBS, it would just freeze up the um, gameplay. Like it was, oh God, it was so bad. I'm And like it frustrates me because, you know, I've been streaming for three years now. I feel like I should know the basics, but I, I seem like such a bloody beginner for so many things. <laughs> Anyway, and also Holly's creation. Thank you for that follow. Welcome on in. A little bit of e boss there. Ah, <sighs> yeah. Anyway, anyway, that that happened to me. Also, Data Girl, welcome to the chat as well. Um, fun fact: Mama Ivy is now watching you on YouTube to help her explain Animal Crossing more. Let's go! Oh, I love that Ivy. I love that. Oh gosh. The floof and the stream deck are on vacation together. That must be it. They just took off without telling me. They just took off without telling me. Yeah, anyway. How are you? How was your week? Uh thank you. I I'm I'm good, I would say. I my week was definitely interesting monday was terrible monday i had like several breakdowns i spent like a lot of monday crying and the rest of the week definitely it was better but i i do have to say i don't know i feel like i've worked every single day this week and i need to i need to calm down <laughs> like i need to calm down but i don't know how because i'm not getting stuff done the way that i want but at least I finished the Encanto video for now. So there's only one more video that I have to stitch together from streams and the island tour. And then, you know, that content will be will be done with and maybe we can head on to some more chill things. I don't know. It was just I feel like that video stressed me out a little bit. Um, and it's only been my second week of working, but I still haven't quite figured out how to combine both things together, if that makes sense. And uh, yeah. But apart from that, I think I'm good. How are you? How are you? I fall asleep to your long plays on Unwind every night. Oh, Alexis, I'm glad that they help you. I actually have a new one coming out. I think currently it's scheduled to tomorrow. We'll see if that happens or if I'll push it back a tiny bit. But the Sycamore flattening is also going to be uploaded very soon. Definitely this coming week. I just don't know which day just yet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what are the bits for? Uh, so bits, basically, I don't know if one of my mods already explained it, um, but basically bits uh, help support the streamer financially. So you purchase a certain amount of bits uh, from Twitch, basically, and you pay with your real like real life currency, real money, and then you can cheer 
uh, like 100 bits. So for example, I don't know really, I don't even know how much it is currently because they changed the prices a few times in the last, oh, you cannot cheer in your own channel. What? <laughs> I am shocked. Okay, so 100 bits. Uh, for me currently are one euro and 59 cents um and then if if you cheer 100 bits in my channel then i get like a i think a euro or like a dollar so it's kind of like one one bit is one cent for the streamer but you pay a little bit more for it so uh twitch also gets like a share of it but that's basically it it's kind of like financial support for the for the streamer yeah yeah I need a tutorial for the 500 plus dance, please. I don't even, it was just, just feel the music, you know? Ah, <sighs> yeah, yeah. And also Tiger, welcome on in. I thrive on this chaos. Oh gosh. You sometimes I feel like it's quite, it's, it's quite, it's quite funny, but there's times where I feel like I just, I can't, I can't process. <laughs> also, Coco, welcome on in. Oh yeah, the mods did explain it. It's like a built-in tip system type of thing. Some of the money also goes to Twitch. Malima probably explained better when she catches up on chat. I can't remember the exact amounts. Yeah, me neither, apparently. Me neither. Yeah. Mm. I love the emo combinations on the train. Oh, dang it, it's gone now. Kat seems to be really enjoying her time with MK Kat is having... Um, a blast while Annie was crying. Oh no. <laughs> I fell in love with your videos on YouTube and now I finally joined the Twitch family. Thank you. I appreciate it. I was saying this the other day, but uh, you know, Twitch can sometimes be like a tad bit more chaotic. I will leave it without explanation today, but just take it for what it is. <laughs> well, welcome on in. We see the full train when it's leaving. That's true. Yeah, yeah. It kind of it kind of does like a little a little showstopper moment. It's like, hi everyone. This is you know this is everyone who was on the train. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. It's my first time catching a stream. Oh, welcome on in. Is it MB loves Jinx? Welcome on in. I just didn't get any. I also did not get an email. Not even a notification that I already have them all. Just nothing. Twitch, am I right? Oh, maybe I also got that hard then because it doesn't seem familiar to me, but it just didn't pop up either. Maybe. I also just watched the VOD for Wednesday. Yeah, I thought like I looked at the story and I was like, is that Wednesday stream? I think it is. Yeah. I am very nervous about this island. And also, you know, we talked about this before, but like we we started this island. I started another one uh, off stream. We have Encanto finished, which is going to be restarted very soon. Wednesday. Oh. Uh, Wednesday, we're going to be starting like a new Stardew farm. Like there's so many things happening right now. Um, Savage, thank you so much for the 1000 bits. Y'all, thank you so much. Savage, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Hello. Thank you so, so much. If, by the way, if anyone has any, any, any alert ideas, Hello. feel free to send them my way. Also, Kyrie and Glitter Boy, thank you for those follows. Welcome on in. Anime, welcome on in. I definitely need an update to a two. I haven't been able to catch a stream in like two months because of exam season. No worries, no worries. So basically, in the last two months, um, I have finished my Encanto Island, uh, and I'm working on videos for that one though. There actually just was a video that went up before stream today, um, which is about the casita, like the entire casita progress. So if you haven't seen it, you'd like to watch it. Feel free to, you know, maybe save it for later. Um, and uh, I'm still working on the river like or I will be working on the river video and then like an island tour and I don't know when I finished Sycamore but that was kind of more off stream I think and uh, yeah we started a new island called Kefien which is going to be German a German countryside and village inspired island uh, and today is actually going to be the first time that we maybe do something on that island in terms of, because last time we reached three stars, I flattened the island. I did go to a bunch of treasure islands, but I didn't manage to go th to all the ones I'd planned just yet because yesterday they were down, unfortunately. Um, 
but yeah, we're going to code shop and then we're going to see if maybe we're going to start working on something already. Looking forward to watching your Encanto video. I hope you'll like it. It is like 45 minutes long, so it's like a good, it's a good bit of video to watch and go through, but I hope you'll like it. I had a green matcha latte. Does that count as celebrating? I would say so. I would definitely say so. Happy to report that after mentioning that I want to start watching Shameless on Wednesday, I did so on Thursday. Nice. I'm obsessed already halfway through season three out of 11. Chrissy, let's go. Are the episodes like 20? Is it like sitcom like 20 minutes long or is it longer? I wear black to work and my eyes are green. Your eyes are green? Slay. Slay. Also steadily welcome on in. I'm back from Lurk armed with a rucksack and sewing kit to try and fix my broken strap. Oh my God, you got this. You got this. I can sew for the life of me, but you got this. Oh my God, what is happening today? <sighs> um, also, Tades, thank you so much for the 500 bits. I could maybe think about like, I was just waiting for it to read out the message, but I don't want stuff to get too chaotic. Um, but maybe at a certain at a certain amount, we could have like text to speech. I'm not sure. Uh, Tadies, thank you so much for the 500 bits. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, so much for the support. I mean, that's. <laughs> what? <laughs> I got on green shorts, but I don't plan on leaving the house. Totally fine. Totally fine. I wish I was celebrating. You got us to celebrate with. We'll celebrate. There will be lots of green on my island for sure. I'm wearing a green jacket. There we go. There we go. I'm painting my nails an orangey reddish color. Oh, shared in happy corner. Okay. I'm a check. Happy corner. Ooh. Oh my God. That's like really red. Drool emo. I like it though. It's cute. Yeah, orangey red. I don't know why. For some reason, I thought about like a burnt orange. You know, the one I have all the time. Uh, I didn't expect such a break, but it's very cute. It's very cute. I wish we had more spaces for codes. My slots are about to be full, but I'm so excited to see the fun ones that you find today. I don't know what to search for. I feel like there's no... Um, I feel like I don't really have too many codes to look for. So, yeah. I've totally been neglecting Animal Crossing because I started playing Hogwarts Legacy again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, different games. I I fear uh, I fear what's going to happen when we get into Stardew, to be fair. You saying Excel sounds like Excel sounds... Wait, what? You saying Excel like Excel sounds like an Australian saying Axel, like a car axle. I don't even know what a car axle is. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think that's just because maybe maybe Germans were... That's also so... Okay. Same thing for Nike is people like in Germany actually say Nike. It's because I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> I have an explanation. Oh, Axe? Oh, yeah, maybe. Oh, yeah, that might be it. That might be it. I hope everyone is having a great Sunday so far. And yes, I've celebrated St. Patrick's Day. Ooh, nice. Some of my friends are Irish, so I celebrated with them. Oh, how nicely. Yeah, welcome on in. The tech talk is too complicated for my little brain. Same, same. I think so. My dad actually kind of works in like IT, but he obviously doesn't know anything about like streaming stuff, but he does know a little bit about like PCs and everything. So I feel like I did. I grew up with like a basic understanding um, or, you know, also just the ability to Google. So I'll try to search for like like solutions when I have issues, when I have issues. Um, but like sometimes, I don't know, the streaming problems and like the tech problems around streaming and webcams and capture cards are so specific <laughs> that I just, I don't know, I can't. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh a replaced by <laughs> worn down thumbsticks with me stream. I can't. I still can't. You can't even, you can not even tell. Excuse me. Am I wearing the same shirt? Oh no, that was flurry. Um, Paulina, it's okay. It's okay. There, it goes, you know, there we get more busy and there's stuff happening. Um, and sometimes you just don't um 
you just don't have the energy to be super active but no worries thank you for the 500 bits thank you so much for the support um i, I appreciate it uh, and also kill a scorpion thank you for the follow the thing is you can't even see it if i show it to you like this you cannot even really see it but it like actually isn't even quite a circle anymore it's kind of like an oval now <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, but it, <laughs> I just completely have worn down my Joy-Con stick. <laughs> I don't know. It, it's it's fine. I ha I have like I have like four thousand hours on this Switch. Honestly, I'm surprised that none of my other I actually did not check my other Switches, but it's it kind of makes sense, you know. And then I think Subby messaged me. She was like, "Wait, you have like literally a worn down Joy-Con, but you don't have drift? Like, what has happened? <laughs> what is happening?" Yeah, but so, yeah. And then I was flattening this eyelid and I kept, because when I hold this Joy-Con, I do always press it down from like above. And I was like, oh, now it makes sense. <laughs> uh, Delirious Dev, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Mostly it's just OBS itself or just something along those lines. The amount of times I un like unplug, oh my God, yeah. Unplug and replug plug re -plug works or the clear a cache and then it's fine again is wild. I know, I know, yeah. My dad always used to say, uh, reboot tut gut. <laughs> so like German kind of for like rebooting kind of, you know, is, is always like a good idea. I have a love hate relationship with, the, with cable management. I definitely have a hate relationship. I would love to love it. I would I would love to love it. I'd like to have a very cute setup. I was talking to um It's so weird because I don't even know if if I I think I can probably say their names. Anyways, I was talking to someone at work um and we were we were kind of chatting about like possible uh like TikTok ideas and possible like I don't know, set up pictures maybe for, for their accounts. And she was like, oh, you know, your background is so pretty. You probably have like a super cute setup. And I was like, eh, like semi. And then I sent her a picture and she was like, oh yeah, yeah, maybe we'll, you know, some plans or something. Cause like you can definitely see some cables and it's just not like the cutest, but it's just very, they're there, you know, like I just, I need them to work work like for my setup to work but they're not really the cutest i'd like to be able to be better at it but i'm just not I, I really i tried all that i could but yeah please don't overwork yourself yeah yeah working nine to nine today oh my god tadies also please take care of yourself i kind of worked from like eight to eight yesterday and at the end of the day i fell on the sofa and i was like even though I really like what I do, you know. Um, and Catline, welcome on in. I already watched your uh, Encanto video and I loved it. Thank you. Welcome on in. I'm hooked on your Let's Play. I'm binge watching the videos. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> I can't. Are these, like, in advance subs currently. Um... Is it, uh, is it Accio Crossing? So, okay, funny story. Is that from Harry Potter? Because I think, so my, my sister uses that to call back her dog when she ventures off too far. She always, so I don't know if you actually pronounce it like, but my sister always says Accio. Um, <laughs> so let me know. Thank you so much for the uh, brand new tier one for six months in advance. Thank you so much for the trust and support. And I hope you like the emotes and the badge and stuff. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. I'll be here, but I have to study for my second to last exam tomorrow. I hope I can finish soon and play some Animal Crossing with you, Cherry. Good luck. Also, thank you for the very kind YouTube comment, but no worries. Enjoy your lurk. I hope everything goes well. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Having a lazy day for the first time in a while. Nice. I'm cleaned a bit, read my book, and now I'm starting on a new island while watching. Alec, have fun. That sounds amazing. Also, Hobbsy, welcome on in. And Holly's Creation, also welcome to the chat. I was, um, I'm new to Twitch. Oh, let's go. You're my first YouTuber to try again. I love your channel. Thank you, Holly. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. Earlier, someone heard moms instead of mods. Ooh, fair. <laughs> fair. <laughs> 
I have so many wobbles and I'm not sure what to do with them. Yeah, I, I think we might um bring back a couple of like cute channel point redemptions. I just I just always I never have ideas for those, I feel like. But I'll see. Oh also Moon, welcome on in. Enjoy your enjoy the emotes in case you're still here, I'm not sure. Um Oh yeah, busy though, so I hope you have a wonderful stream. No worries. I'm starting a new Stardew Farm with my partner too when the update comes out. Oh, how fun, Data Girl. Yeah, I uh, I, I will start it on Wednesday. So the update is supposed to come out Tuesday. Do we know the time? Like, do we know the time of um, of day that, that the update comes out? Because I'm not sure. But like, I would like to start a new farm on Wednesday. So we'll see if maybe there are any, like any mods are already updated or stuff like that. Also, this actually, last time I played at Stardew, I played it on my Switch and I did the perfection file on Switch. I kind of, does anyone have experience with playing Stardew with a controller, like the Steam PC version, but with a controller? Cause I think I want to do that. I think I want to try that. I think I tried hooking it up once and it worked generally because I'm I'm a controller person. I can't I can't deny it. So you know, I'd like to play with controller. <laughs> More dance choreos. <laughs> but I think we were watching like a Nintendo Nintendo something. I don't even remember what it was, but it was like a Nintendo Direct stuff and then that music came on and I just I had to dance, you know. I think I'll have to wait at least another week before I play Stardew again because I have to wait for all my mods to get updated. Yeah, for sure. Oh, thank you, Savage. Thank you for the sweet message. Make the, if anyone has any alert ideas, an alert. You know? Um, also, KSauce, welcome on in. I've watched on YouTube for a while now, but I've never made it to a stream yet. I've been binging your videos and have your Twitch watts on in the background constantly. As I just restarted my island, I was kind of unhappy with my old one, but your content inspired me to start over and I fall in love again. So thank you. You're very welcome. Uh, welcome on in. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a good Sunday so far. And I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. Oh, episodes are 47 to 55, 55, 55 minutes, 12 per season. Okay, so long episodes, but kind of a shorter, shorter season then. Okay. I decided I'm not a sewing type and I've just safety pinned it for now. Mac, I think that's a good idea. I'd be the same. I would totally be the same. Are you guys talking the OG Shameless or the American version? Ooh, I don't know. Maybe I'll paint my nails green today. Yes. No codes opens Pinterest, please. Uh, yeah, I mean, if any anyone has any codes, I would also um, I'd love to I'd love to get more inspo if possible. Uh, share them on Discord, maybe or like send me send them to me on on Instagram or something so that I can I can save them on my own Pinterest, maybe um, or say, I don't know, you can't you can send links. <sighs> I don't know, but yeah. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. <sighs> the brand new subs today. Hello. <laughs> um, Frauke, thank you so much. I hope that that is how you pronounce that. I hope that that's the German, the German name. Thank you so much for the brand new sub with your prime. Thank you for using that on me. And also, I hope that you enjoy the emotes and the badge and the ad free viewing. Thank you. And uh, maybe the code shopping today will also give me some inspiration for the new island. I have a color scheme, a season, and villagers, but no theme. Yeah. What is your color scheme, though, Chrissy? Uh, your channel has helped a lot with my chronic pain and anxiety. Oh, I'm glad. Oh, thank you for watching them, Holly. I appreciate it. I have too many ideas for my next island. Write them down. Definitely write them down with like as many details as you want or you already have because at some point you'll need them for sure. Does anyone play Sims? I, I, well, I, I have played it before, but I'm not like a, a Sims player. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, no worries, Kata. No worries. You got an anti Montax product? Yeah, yeah, these were made on a good day. These were very, very much made on a good day. I, I can't, I can't, I can't unsee it. Happy, happy stream everyone, 13. <laughs> 13. <laughs> um, I, I can't unsee it now. Now that I've seen it for the first time, I can't unsee it. Um, Noah, thank you so much for the uh, resub for the, your second month. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I hope we're doing well today. I wore the underside of the Joy-Con uh, stick on my partner's switch. A rubber casing came off, so I got, <laughs> I got banned from his switch. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah, do I play Manami Lane for the first time or do I go beep beep in my supermarket? Oh, that depends. Do you want something more chill or more grindy, I guess? I love myself some boomer sayings, right? Right? My Switch has such bad stick drift. Oh, yeah. So many people have it. I've only ever had it on the Switch Lite before. Your father sounds like someone who has good dad jokes. I don't know if I I don't know if I would call them good good dad jokes. He just has I think he just has dad jokes, you know. Even my pro controllers have what seems like drift sometimes. I love that I paid fifty dollars for them. Yeah. Yeah. I work in IT and our saying is switch it off and switch it on again. And 90% of the time it seems to solve it. Yeah. I think if you work in a, in a company as like IT support, that's like half of what you're saying all day long. It's so weird, right? Or just like my sound wasn't working. So I just restarted my PC and it worked again. It worked again. Uh, Frida, welcome on in. I'm mega bored. feel like, um, I feel like swear word. No worries, Leah. I hope uh, you feel better soon. Enjoy your lurk. Put a plan sticker on the cables. I mean, that should make it cuter, actually. That should probably make it cuter. <laughs> oh, yeah. I had a busy week, but I had Saturday off. Nice. I hope you had a, a very chill, um, a very chill day. That is how you pronounce it. Okay, Akio, welcome on in. And also, Frida, I hope your uni stuff is going well. I was so excited when this video came out. I just had to take a study break to watch it. Oh, thank you, Cherry. Thank you. Yeah, no E. It's Malene with, without an E. Yes. Thank you, mods, by the way. Might be 6 or 7 p.m. for us. At that is the usual update time on Steam. Okay. I should know this with my job. <laughs> I feel like I should know this with my job. Okay, so 6 or 7 p.m. So people who make mods need to work through the night to update. Yeah, yeah, to update the mods. <laughs> I've never played Stardew before. I'm totally new to farming games. Oh my god, you're gonna, I think, well, so here's the thing. I was gonna say, you, because you've been playing, Coco, you've been playing Fae Farm, right? If you like Fae Farm, I feel like you would like Stardew. At first, I, I always tell the story about Stardew Valley because I, back in the day, uh, wanted to decide between either getting Stardew Valley or what was the other one? Story of Seasons, I think. And I decided to get Story of Seasons because I wasn't the biggest fan of pixel art. Um, at least I thought I wasn't. And didn't enjoy Story of Seasons. And that was like 40 bucks, I think, while Stardew was like 10 or 15. Uh, and so at some point I was like, you know what? Okay, I am st I'm just going to get Stardew Valley on top of that. And then I got so freaking hooked on Stardew and it made me truly like appreciate pixel art, I think, which I'm glad about because there is, well, it, I guess it depends though. There's like different types of pixel art, I think, but um, it made me really like pixel art and it just made me, I don't know. I feel like Stardew just gives you like a new appreciation for farm games it's not like the first one that ever came out it's not the only one that ever came out but it just it does it so well that i feel like that gets the standard for everything you know like every time there's a farming game it's like i i compare it to stardew somewhat you know so yeah if if you want to pick it up i feel like you like it but yeah you can use the Pro Controller wired on Steam that works fine with Stardew, like playing on the Switch, nice. Or also I could, I don't know what is better. I do, I do have an Xbox controller now, so I could also use that, you know? 
uh, which I actually haven't tried yet. I hope this works wired too, because I don't have Bluetooth on my PC. But yeah. I haven't played in a while. I've been waiting so long. Yeah, yeah. I haven't played Sturdy in such a long time. I'm getting re-addicted to Sturdy with the update. I love to see so many people like ex just expecting and totally be okay with being re-addicted again. That's amazing. Uh, Koma Ravi, also welcome on in. Uh, new to Twitch, I'm so excited to catch a stream. I'm currently working on my island, inspired by your island. Equilibrio! Oh my god, are you doing four seasons or are you doing like four, four sections with like different themes? Have fun! I made a boot board after watching your video on it and it's been a total game changer. I can't believe how fun it's been to make. Oh, okay, I'm so glad. Um, also gaming, is it Mifa? Welcome on and thank you for the follow. I'm glad. I always love making mood boards. I love them. And they just kind of, you know, get you in the mood for the island. I, I really like it. To these episode lengths, you have to add the breaks that I have to take because so much stuff is happening at all times. Like there was a reveal that made me scream. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, and Frauke welcomes the chat. Thank you again. I appreciate it. Welcome on in. This uh, The color scheme for Fearless ooh, is yellow. It will be all yellow. We'll even have it in fall so the trees and grass are also yellow. <gasps> nice. Nice. So I guess now you kind of need to make a decision on like what direction you want to go with. Do you want to make it more kid core or like more natural and stuff? More structured or natural? Yeah. I currently have three islands. I'm feeling overwhelmed. So I sort of want to finish them, upload a DA, and then restart just one. I think that's a good idea, Turtles. Yeah, I think t having two is very nice because sometimes when you get burnt out on one, you can switch to the other. But like anything above that sometimes can be somewhat hard to manage, I feel like. And then for me, with my Let's Play Island, I think I've been playing on it for almost two years now. And sometimes it's hard to remember the things that you initially planned for that island. Like I feel like my entire concept for that island has kind of changed throughout the months of playing, which is fine, but you know. Also, Party Elephants, welcome on in. I'm playing The Sims right now. I love playing Sims and House Flipper. Ooh, I love watching House Flipper. I like watching House Flipper. I really like watching like Power Wash Simulator, which I actually do have myself. I don't have a House Flipper. I feel like I feel like I don't I don't play games like that, but I, I do like watching them. I've had almost all my controllers fixed by Nintendo, but at least it was all free, including shipping. I did, now that you're you're saying that, I did actually send these in, didn't I? I did send these in, but they didn't fix the Joy-Con stick, I guess. <laughs> um, or did they? I feel like they, well, because so for me, my fan was actually broken. I feel like my fan is actually broken on multiple of my switches because they all like, they are they have this like rattling sound and they all like, they're just very loud. And this one got so bad, like this is the Animal Crossing switch. This one got so bad that I sent it in. The others, I think I might not be able to now because I've kind of opened up the shells and stuff. Um, I feel like I sent these in and they were like, they also replaced stuff in here. I don't know what though. I don't know if they also replaced like the the joy cons or just like sensors or whatever i don't know i love these streams in the community here thank you lauren i keep comparing myself to everyone else and just feel so behind like there's something wrong with me there's nothing wrong with you absolutely not it's so nice to come here a couple of times a week and have a place where i don't feel odd oh lauren i'm very i like i'm not I don't like hearing that you feel that way, but I am glad that we can give you that space. And you're you're totally you're totally okay the way that you are. And comparing yourself, like I get it for sure, but it it usually is never a good idea. But I'm not really good at listening to that advice, so I shouldn't be handing it out. I guess. <laughs> no worries, Coco. Do that. Was it just the switch they looked at? Yeah, that's what I'm not sure about because I definitely sent everything in. And then I got a letter back from that. I think I might still have it where they kind of listed everything that they changed. And I think I didn't like, I didn't tell them that there was something with the Joy-Cons, but I feel like they still did something. I feel like there was something on the paper. I need to check though. I've been procrastinating buying a new pro controller for a few months now. Mine is such a little bitch. X and A buttons don't work properly anymore. I can't use it not wired and it has drift. Oh, I've had this thing for less than two years. No. Dang it. 
Also, Stubby, welcome on in. And Flora, welcome on in. Enjoy your lurk. I love that for Stardew because I feel like pixel art has the stigma of being old and low quality, but I feel like Stardew made lots of people enjoy it. Yeah, and I don't know, like pixel art, I feel like... Yeah, it does have kind of that stigma, but it's 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 actually such an like such an art form. <laughs> Chrissy is such a fangirl. I love it. <laughs> I just started an island I called uh, Lily Pond. Oh, cute. I chose uh, that as a name because it can be changed in different themes easily. So if anyone has any thoughts, can I have some ideas, please? Ooh, you can definitely go on to like Google or YouTube and search for some like ACNH Island ideas. There's like a ton of, a ton of like videos and, and lists and stuff. Or I, yeah, actually I made some videos. I kind of forgot about that. <laughs> Usually the Xbox controller for PC come with a Bluetooth emitter. What does that, what does that mean? The music is so good. Also, I think we'll just play with like in-game music. I know that in Stardew, sometimes there's days where there's no music, but I think we'll do in-game music for Stardew because it's just, it's the best. When you start that first day of summer and the summer bops hit you, ah, it's so good, you know? Stardew is great because it's not only farming, but so much more cool content. Yeah. And also, you know, I'm a mine girly. So, and I think the Stardew mines are just amazing. So, ah, yes, yes. The buttons are so different from the Switch controller. They are, they are. And then I feel like the, the, well, you can't see it because of, yeah, but these are like the Joy-Cons are so different too. The entire feel of it is just very different. I have to get used to it though because of work, you know? <laughs> oh, also thank you, PF, for answering that uh, island idea thing. Oh, the witchy section of Equilibrio. Oh, nice. Oh, witchy. Witchy is a fun theme for sure. Also, Natty, welcome on in. Currently villager hunting for my final villager for a theme. I regret. Oh, it's the last job before I can start my new island. I'm so excited for, but I can't leave it. I need 100%. <gasps> oh, God. Yes, Natty, good luck. I hope you can find them. I know. I know what that's like for sure. I was thinking to maybe build a castle town. Oh, <gasps> cute. But that's so much work even on a spicy switch. True, but cute. After I used the automation mod in Stardew on PC, I now miss it all. <laughs> I now miss it on all the console Stardew. True, true. I think once you get used to like some mods, it's... <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Also, Navur, welcome on in. Hello. And free to have fun, if you can still hear that. I hope you uh, enjoy... The starting music does not grind on my nerves like the ACNH music can. True. True. Yeah, Animal Crossing music can get quite annoying. Animal Cross Crossing music with rain is the worst. I just, I don't know why I have such beef with it. But the, the music when it rains, especially the 7 a.m. because I just hear it all the time. And then add a cricket on it. Oh. <laughs> uh, if your PC has an inbuilt Bluetooth emitter, then you can use the controller without the cable. Oh, I don't know if it has that actually. It's I I don't I don't I don't know if I have that. I don't think I do. Thank you that you plug into your PC and then connect your controller via Bluetooth. Okay. Okay. Does anyone have any plans for the anniversary on Wednesday? Um I'll hang out in Mia's stream cuz Mia has something planned. I don't really, but Mia has like a fun thing planned for the birthday that she won't tell us about, but there is apparently apparently as a viewer you can also do something. So I'll I'll be there. <laughs> I'll be starting a new forever island. Oh, let's go. I actually completely, I don't know. I feel like it's is it, I've been streaming for three years, basically as an Animal Crossing streamer. I mean, I do like a little bit of different stuff every once in a while, or to be fair, I do, I just talk a lot. We do, we do a lot of just chatting on here, but like, I feel like I've basically been an Animal Crossing streamer. Totally forgot about the anniversary of Animal Crossing, and I will be playing Stardew that day instead. But yeah, here's that. Um... To be fair, to be fair, I think I constantly forget about that anniversary because I didn't start playing until like July. So 
Yeah, well, we'll celebrate the anniversary by playing Stardew. You can already think about like what we're going to call the farm because I don't know. I don't know what we're going to call it, but it's yeah. There are super cheap mini USB sticks that act as a Bluetooth transmitter. I have no more slots left. I have no more Bluetooth slots, which is very bad. I have no more outlets, uh, outlet spots or Bluetooth spots. But I guess I can get like a, a, a USB hub or something. Yeah. Uh, welcome back, Kata. I just started a small mountain town island based on the town I go on vacation to every year. <gasps> my favorite place. Oh my God, that's amazing. Oh, that's so cute. If you do, you should be able to see it in your settings to turn on and off. Oh, okay, okay. I'll check, but I think I don't maybe. Watch the moon. Welcome on in. 2 p.m. is the one for me. 2 p.m. Yeah, yeah, okay. Do you design your Stardew farms, farms in advance? I don't at all. I think, I don't know. Have we played Stardew on stream before? I think once, but not for a very long time, right? Because I'll be honest, or I, I feel like y'all are going to be surprised at how I play Stardew because I actually don't care about decorating for like quite some time. Like I, I go into it, I just want to grind. You know, I, I want to reach that perfection kind of thing. Like not in terms of like speed running it or anything like that, but I've... I feel like I'm more focused on like stuff working instead of just looking like aesthetic. And usually I just do a little bit of decorating later on, but I just am not really good at it either. I feel like I'm not good at decorating my Stardew farms. Yeah. I always play Stardew with the music muted because it annoys me that the music only plays for a little bit and then just, it's just muted. Okay, fair, fair. Sabra, welcome on in, welcome on in. Uh, there. Oh wait, I read that with the USB stick. Yes. And Demir, also welcome on in. I'm showing my husband your stream for the first time today. Oh, we'll try to we'll try to leave a good impression. Welcome on in. Just pretend that you're doing it as a protest because we demand news about the next game. Oh my God! Speaking of, did you hear the news? Did you hear? Like there apparently, so there was someone. Okay, I'm just I just kind of heard about it here and there, but apparently there was someone who like is not unknown in the Nintendo leak community. Um, and he like leaked something about like early brainstorming sessions about Animal Crossing. And so apparently the next one is coming in 2026 and it's supposed to have cars and be placed in a city. And I kind of hope that it's not true because I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, everything I heard about it, I hate it. <laughs> I just hated everything about it. It was like cars and then cities and festivals. And I was just th the entire time I was thinking like, excuse me, can I decorate? It's that like, it's, I just, I can I decorate, you know? I didn't like it. It sounds horrible. I, I it also, you know, people, I kind of heard both. Like I heard the one side where people were like, you know, he actually, we've heard of him before when it comes to Nintendo leaks. So I guess like maybe, maybe it's accurate. But then also some people were saying like, it kind of seems a little bit off because cars and driving and big city, whatever, like it just doesn't really feel like Animal Crossing, you know, the entire like idea of what Animal Crossing is. So I guess we'll see, um, you know? I don't know. I had a forever island, then wiped it from humanity, hoping my Westeros island is my forever island. Oh, good luck. Good luck, Tades. I thought of restarting, but I can't seem to do it. I have three other switches. Me too, Akio. Me too. I love how many of us seem to have multiple switches. We're so obsessed with this game. It is not even funny. My last Stardew save file was called Flora and Fauna Farms. Oh, cute. Cute. Animal Crossing and stream it is, hopefully have fun. I decorate when I have true perfection, but after that, I never touch the farm again. Yeah, yeah, I kind of get that. Mm. Which is kind of sad because like late game, you get so many cool options. Like you can go into all their houses. You, I had that sword that makes monsties explode. Like it was really fun, but I just, for some reason, I just uh, don't really play. Should maybe go away from the, um, from the sky, so I don't look quite as cool toned. There we go. Green is green better? I don't know if green is better. 
I don't really understand the point of planning the farm so hard because they're gonna change all the time. Oh yeah, true. I don't wanna be thinking about something that'll only happen like year three. Yeah. I like that the starting music changes depending on which area or building you're in. Me too. I've never played Stardew Valley. Is it worth buying it? For sure. I would say literally 100%. Hey, you're making me want to play Stardew right now instead of working on my new Animal Crossing island. Oh no. Oh no. Hack is to mute the Stardew music and just put on the Stardew playlist. Yeah, but I don't really love it because then suddenly you're in the middle of like a summer day and then the Dance of the Moonlight Jellies comes on and it's just not the same. You know, like I feel like you just have to go and do like themed music for all the days and stuff. But I, the fact that you it changes when you go into different areas, sometimes the music in the mines like slaps, you know, or also I'm not going to lie. I feel like um, the, the fact that the music sometimes is just quiet in the mines. It's kind of a vibe, too, you know. It sounded very far off. Yep. Yep. I'm never decorate. I'm always in the mines. Me too, Anna. Me too. Me too. <laughs> I'm such a mine person in Stardew. No cars. Thank you. Imagine instead of a house, you have an apartment. Mm hmm. Sounds like SimCity living. It kind of does. <sighs> oh, Moon Cove is the Equilibrio inspired one, which is maybe a fourth done. And then I have Elowin, which is a fall themed island. Just got to three stars. Ooh, nice. Uh, Clover Cove, Spring Core, half done. I'm having fun watching your streams and playing. Oh, that. But I like the fact that you've got all of them at like different stages. That's very smart because I, I currently don't have that and it's it's not good. My current uh, copium is that it's an ultimate edition of New Leaf for the Switch with the City from City Folk added, and that's what it was actually about, more of a remake, not the next title in the series. Oh yeah, okay. I could kind of get behind that then. I don't know, so many people have been asking for like a, a New Leaf reboot or like remake. I don't know how to feel about it because I never played New Leaf, and so I feel kind of, I feel almost like I'm left out, you know? I found your YouTube channel. I've been enjoying the coziness of your YouTube videos. I'm new to Twitch and happy to watch your stream for the first time. Mushroom, welcome on in. Welcome to the chat. If it's like City Folk where you have separate areas that you can visit, uh, where you have all that stuff, then I would love it. Okay. What do you call the waterways on the side of the road? Ditch? Oh, I don't know. Oh, is Bumby code shopping? Oh my God, we're all talking about Animal Crossing, like the new Animal Crossing. Bumby's like, I don't care. I'm I'm co looking for codes. <laughs> the guy is supposedly right like 30% of the time, according to some big YouTube Nintendo players. Oh, okay. Well, 30% isn't the, isn't the highest percentage then. Good to know. Good to know, Ivy. Yeah, I watched like one video and then I think I saw the tweet and that was it. I didn't really do much more research than that. Give me my nature to decorate. Yep. Yep. Agreed. I just hope that in the next one we can change the looks of the town center and the other buildings like a new leaf. Yeah. The fact that that wasn't like, I mean, you can you can redo all the houses. Why not those? You know, I gifted my husband a switch so I could have a second one. Very smart. Good thinking. <laughs> I'd love a city if it has like a slice of life anime vibes, like your name, for example, or Whisper of the Heart from Ghibli. Okay. I've started playing Sticky Business thanks to you and I'm officially obsessed. It's way too cute. Yes. I mean, I'm not really getting anything in addition, but you know, I'm glad. I'm glad. Demira, I'm glad to hear that. Um, I kind of thought about asking them. I think the last time we talked about it, I thought about asking them if there was like a link that I can get. Um, but I think they do that with like an external company. If there's a link that I can get to track how many people have like maybe gotten the game because of me, but it, it might be too late now. And not even because of like an affiliate code or anything. I was just like literally interested, you know? <laughs> but yeah, I'm glad you like it though. The nice thing about Stardew is the price that is reasonable. So even if you end up not liking it, it's not like you spend a lot on it. Yeah, I got it for like $10. I think me too. I think I got it for 10 bucks on Steam. And then I bought it again for the Nintendo Switch when it was on sale. Or maybe the other way around. I'm not sure. Uh, Lena Leafy also, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. And Julia, welcome on in. It's good to see you. 
I turn off the starting music and I just have a YouTube video or a series in the background. I do that too, oftentimes when I play like for myself, I would say. I love the music when you step out of your farm a house on a summer morning. It makes me so happy. Yes. I love the way the rock sound. Generally, sound design is... Oh, it's such a joy. It's such a joy in Stardew. There's like a couple of sounds that are sometimes a little weird. <laughs> like random birds in the background. But apart from that, it's so nice. And Lari also welcome on in. I definitely would say Stardew is amazing. Yes, I can definitely recommend it. Excuse me. <laughs> You just followed. Oh my god. Um, it, by the way, is it Lena or is it more like the German pronunciation? Let me know. Thank you so much for the brand. I'm assuming you probably know me from like YouTube or something. Um, but thank you so much for the tier, the brand new tier one sub. Also for six months in advance. Thank you everyone so much for these in advance brand new subs lately. I've I really appreciate the support and the trust. Uh and, and all that. Thank you so much. Enjoy the emotes and the badge and the ad free viewing, of course. Thank you. Welcome on in. <laughs> you have fun. I'm working. Thank you, Bumby. <laughs> <sighs> oh, thank you, Savi. Yeah, I need to remember to hydrate. Also, by the way, tank and what's the what's the zebra crocodile one? You're happy, happily running around right now. Happy Sunday, everyone. Time for the comfy, cozy vibes. Annie, welcome on in. Thank you for the 20 month resub at tier three. Annie, thank you so much for the tier three resub. I hope you're doing well today. It's good to see you. There's a full vinyl set of uh, Sturdy Valley music, and I kind of want to buy it, but it's also 70 pounds, but on, always out of stock. Oh my God. I'm so sad. Like the concert stuff was just, I think that was just a United States thing, right? Because I would have loved to see that. At Lainey, welcome on in. Currently preparing dinner, so I'll mostly be lurking. No worries, enjoy. <sighs> I also wouldn't mind if we go back to towns. I was never too fond of the whole island thing. I like the fact that it's just this piece of land that you can transform into anything that you want, you know, with the with the grass stuff. I'm just like scared of, you know, if it's towns, it'll too, like push us too much into one specific aesthetic that I don't want, you know? Coach shopping for my center parks, inspired island, all the aqua park inspo. Ooh, that sounds like a cool island uh, idea though. I also bought sticky business and I love it. I saw you play it. <laughs> I was sitting on the sofa and I, I think it was doing like treasure island runs. And then I just turned to Cam and was like, oh, Chrissy is playing sticky business, but I was too afraid to ask what you thought of it. So, you know. Mm. <sighs> Oh yeah, go get your dinner, Subby. And Vanessa, welcome back. Technically, I could have two more islands as my husband and daughter have switches and I could steal them away when they aren't playing. Ooh. <laughs> I count me in the sticky business statistics. <laughs> well, I hope you're also enjoying it, Annie. This is, oh my God, that's so funny. <laughs> so funny. Uh, I did my introduction, by the way. I did my inter introduction on their Twitter and Threads account um, on Thursday. And then this coming week, I'll probably be posting my first TikTok that I'm very, 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 very nervous about. But yeah. I love something with new biotopes. Oh, yeah. Also, Lie Doodle, welcome on in. As the first time I've caught one of your streams live, welcome on in. Welcome to the live experience. Also, Kiara, welcome on in. A friend of mine has sound design for video games. This is job. Oh my God, amazing. It sounds so interesting. Sometimes the sounds are made in such a funny, strange ways. There's this one person on uh, Instagram that I, I don't even follow her, I think, but I, I sometimes get her in my uh, reels, like feed in my algorithm basically. And she does like sound design for TV shows. And sometimes the way she does certain like everyday sounds with like the most random items, it's super interesting. It is super, super interesting. Uh, Fia, welcome on in. Hello, it's good to see you. Uh, I've been watching you a lot on YouTube lately to de-stress after work and I'm finally catching you live. And it's, oh, German, Lena. Okay, welcome on in. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Welcome on in. Thank you, Mods, for explaining the tears. Only, my only small critique is that I'm not creative enough to name stickers. Give me a randomizing button, please. 
Interesting, interesting, interesting. I will, um, I will think about it. I will put it on. I've my one of my things I want to do next week is make a list of because, um, we asked in the Discord for some like ideas and recommendations and stuff. And one of the things I want to do is make a list of everything. And I wanted to sneak my own in there. <laughs> and one of the things I actually would love to do is rename stickers later on because sometimes I just want to create them and click whatever. And then, um, and then just name them later on, you know, and I, you can't. So that was something I was going to be, uh, putting on there, you know, <laughs> but sometimes certain things are not possible because of the way it's programmed, which I'm a very, my, I'm a, I've, I've got it like a cabbage head, you know, all, everyone I work with is like super smart, literally programming games. And I'm just sitting there being like, Oh, <laughs> click, click, click. <laughs> You know, so no, no promises that it'll happen or that it's even possible, but I, I will kind of put something like that on the list just because of what I want, you know, <laughs> I also just bought it, but I haven't tried it yet. I hope you like it. Polina made me convince my husband to let me buy the Switch OLED and return to selling my light. Ooh, let's go. Oh, also, Anu, no worries. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you so much. I overall love the game though. Yay, that's amazing. I love when they bring up videos about the making of or like sound design of a game that I play. It's always so interesting. Yeah, just generally, honestly, the behind the scenes stuff of how um, a game is made is is kind of wild. It's super interesting, but like literally, I feel like I've got I've I've got nothing up here but air. <laughs> Oh, nice, Kata. I hope you also enjoy it. I can't believe that you don't know everything about your brand new job yet. I know, right? <sighs> Disrespectful, really. Uh, Stars Knee. Also, and by the way, sorry, Bente. Thank you for the follows. Welcome on in. Also, Stars Knee, uh, Stars Knee welcome to the chat. I saw this, uh, again, I saw this reel the other day where someone was like working in customer service, be like, um, and then it was like, you know, after one week of working, working there it was like, oh, a great question. Actually, I'm not quite sure. I'm going to check in with my coworker. And then it said the same thing for like after three months and three years of working. And it was like, that's a great excuse. You know, you just pretend that you've only been working there for like a week. <laughs> yeah. I have no idea what kind of codes you're looking for. I just posted some stuff. To, uh, thank you. Feel free to tell me what you have in mind. I would love to help. I don't know. I don't know, but I will look at it. We will look at everything and um, and then we. Uh... Oh, wait, Chrissy, is that the Bluetooth thing that you send me? Is that what that looks like? Oh, good to know. I might I might grab myself something like that. Uh, yeah, we'll look at it and then I get I guess I'll kind of let you know my thoughts on it. Ooh, all right, all right. Ooh, yes, yes, newspaper. Actually, that looks pretty good so far. You posted so many things I didn't even think about. No, that's good though, that's perfect. That's very good, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I've heard somewhere that the new Animal Crossing will be in a big city. I hope it's not as I don't think I would love that. Yeah, we were just saying that too. I heard about the leak and I was like, please no. <laughs> as a programmer, I love people that don't think like a coder though, as they are the best at testing things and also coming up with really creative ideas. Yeah, I'm way too logical. They were saying to me in a meeting <laughs> this week, they were like, okay, well, Malin, it actually is great that you joined us because Tell us if you understand this, okay? And then I needed to kind of let them know if like the stuff that they put there made sense. Um, but I guess it's like, so it's two programmers, uh, one who does game design and the other does game art. And I think um, the one who does game art, like pixel art, I think uh, they also are not, they also don't think like a programmer. So I guess like, there's like, still a good balance going on, but it's, yeah. And the things that you've just been you've been working on for literal years that they're just so normal and they make so much sense. And to anyone else, it's kind of like, uh huh, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I definitely don't know everything about my job just yet at all. For me, it came with the controller when I bought it. Ooh, I don't think it came with this one. I loved every every. Oh wait, uh. 
skipped message, sorry. Uh, I don't know how expensive they are, but you can also um, always play with the Pro Control when you have the USB-C cable. I do. I do have a USB-C cable, yes. For me, it came with a controller. Why, why am I reading stuff the same? The, the, and <laughs> why am I reading stuff again? Oh my God. I think I needed to take like a short break, maybe. I probably won't play it anytime soon since I'm in full hyperfixation on my forever island. Of course, no worries. Sometimes I have to remind myself why I want to play slow, not rush through everything, but it's just so much fun. As long as you're having fun, you know, with playing. Are you okay? I don't think so. You're doing amazing. Uh. Oh God. God, that way I'm not even good at the job that I've been doing for a few years and you know, I checked if the sign codes you liked around my Pinterest and they were and uh and when I added there in the Starfall folder. Oh my god, wait, that's right. Yeah, I said I was gonna check and I didn't. Thank you, Lainey. Thank you, that's good to know. Malene, I don't even know everything about my job yet, and I've been working there for 10 years this year now. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Okay. <sighs> I hate it though. I just, I want to know everything and I want to be good at what I do and know what I have to do. And then, you know, I, I, I'm very nervous about making like editing short form stuff. I think you're a great boss. Oh, I'm glad. <laughs> I'm perfect boss. We even get food sometimes. <laughs> also savage and sure you lurk. Watching you made me obsessed with Animal Crossing again and restart my island. I'm very excited to start terraforming while watching. Oh, I hope it's going to go well. I'm actually kind of glad that I don't have to terraform. Um, so I can I can give all that like creativity. I can send that your way. I hope you have fun. I just bought myself a brand new PC and monitors as a gift to myself for graduating my master's. <gasps> and I think switching my uh, switch to these monitors for my living room TV is going to make me way more motivated to play Animal Crossing. Oh my God, Alexis, let's freaking go. I hope you enjoy the heck out of your PC and monitors. And then also that, you know, that will be your new, your new gaming setup. That's amazing. You stress yourself too much. I know. I don't know how to stop though. Uh, also, Leko, welcome on in. And Lara, uh, Lara, enjoy your lurk. I love crumb day. Yeah, it doesn't happen too often, you know. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out, Mac. I hope you have fun. I hope you have fun tomorrow and like the next couple of days. Almost as good as crust day. Well, I've never heard of Are you doing stuff without me being okay with it? Is that what's happening here? Is that what's happening? All right. Is that Sims? <laughs> that is Sims. When you find out how to stop stressing yourself, could you let me know? Oh yeah, I will make sure. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna gatekeep uh, those tips. I will make sure to share. I just have no hope of finding those tips. <laughs> I don't even know. I I don't even. And it's not even like the other people around me give me the feeling like I need to be perfect at everything I do first thing, but it's just, you know. Goal is to make my gaming setup as cozy as your background. Oh, let's go. Thank you. Thank you so much. I was going to say, was that the joke that there is not a tip? Like, there's no tip? Um, yeah, I not, my next goal, so I think, well, this plan is not doing so hot at the minute, um, but I feel like my background is okay for now. My next goal is to make this view nice as well because it's not it's not perfect. And also I do, um, I feel like this is another sign of ADHD. I do tend to clutter my desk because I just kind of throw everything here and then every once in a while I have to just clean it up, but it, it gets a little bit messy sometimes, but... Eh, you know, that's fine. Yeah, but uh, it's I've got like a new motivation now to do that. And then I was thinking if I have to um, if I have to get the hang of short form content for work, maybe I 
I will also do it for my own channels, you know, like that's the hope anyways. I don't know if that'll work. I don't know if that was a good idea or plan. Maybe I'm just overwhelming myself again because I just expect to have it like that, you know? <sighs> but yeah. <laughs> uh, when you do something you're chuffed with, tell or show someone who's always impressed with what you do and who will hype you up because it feels great. I do the smallest thing and if I need to feel good, I'll show spe specific people and they will be amazed and it's great. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love that taking notes. Yeah, true, but then I feel like I'm still so hyper, hyper critical that I still don't even, you know? Oh yeah, that's okay, Holly, no worries, no worries. You can share my channel. I told someone at work last night that sometimes I buy things online for the Wait, for the thimble full of dopamine it gives me? Wait, the thimble full of dopamine? I've never heard that. I've never heard that term before. But like that probably just means like a hecton of dopamine. Or th what is thimble? You could probably look it up. Thimble. German. Oh, a finger hood. Oh, so very small. Just it gives you a little bit, a little bit of dopamine. Okay. A thumb glove. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha, okay. Yeah, show it to us, basically. Maybe, yeah. Even if you eat a piece, piece of cucumber, I'm gonna hype you up. Listen, cucumbers are awesome because hydration and vegetable, you know? It, yeah. <laughs> Finger hood, yeah. Almost one and a half years already. <laughs> uh, Lucy, thank you for the 17 months. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I hope you're doing well today. Thank you for the continued support. Very small amount of dopamine. Okay, yeah, no, online shopping, it's dangerous, but it definitely does that. It definitely does that. Yeah, and then like the smallest like cozy gaming things also, you know? Cucumbers are love. Yes, I love cucumbers with like hummus and stuff. <sighs> I have a hype folder in Outlook where I save every positive feedback I get, even screenshots from teams and stuff. When I get imposter syndrome or feel incapable, I look through it and most times it really helps. Uh, actually, um, Lena, I was I was I was talking about this with with Kat like yesterday, I think, because there's a streamer, um, Lilula, which I don't know if that's how you actually say her name. I always, I say it in the most German way, but she's not German, but she actually does that too. She like screenshots all the kind Hello. messages that she gets from her community and just generally from people around her. And she posts that into her own private discord server, I think it is. And when she first said that, when she first, oh my God, actually also Fia, are you still here? <laughs> because that it that that's what brought it up for me um when I first heard this I was like that's an amazing idea I'll start doing that myself and I was going through my my picture folder the other day and I saw a screenshot of like a message that Fia sent me from like two years ago um and uh, long story short I'll get back to the message in a second but long story short uh, I just forget to do it. I think it's an amazing idea. And if you if you remember to do it, it's like a really awesome thing to have um, just because you forget that type of feedback. Um, but I just always forget it, you know. Um, but yeah, you know what the message was, Fia? I think I kept it even um, I, because I think that's when I started like taking a screenshot. Fia sent me like this, the kindest message about two years ago. And you know what you said? You were like, um, you were saying something along the lines of that you watch like the YouTube videos and you watch stream VODs, but you never make it to a live stream um, because you're you're like too busy and there's too many things going on. And even if you do, you're not like chatting too much and that you hope that in the future you're going to chat more on stream. And I, I showed this to Kat and was like, oh, my God, look at that. And Fia is such a like active chatter now which I kind of love. So yeah, I saw that. And then it reminded me of that like feedback folder. So I should, I should do that. But I think it almost feels like at this point, and I, it's a kind of a not so, not, not such a good trait that I have, but it feels like at this point, I'm kind of like, ah, you know, I'm too late. Like I, I should have started this like a few years ago. And now that I didn't, I already missed so many messages. Ah, 
I don't need to bother, you know? Which is not the right thing to do, but kind of what my brain does. But really, really good, uh, good idea. That's, that's a very, very nice idea. I always, uh, can always count on y'all to gather me up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, speaking of retail therapy, I bought a standalone freezer yesterday because my roommate didn't properly close our shared one and all her food spoiled. No. Oh my God. I'm glad that you got one for yourself now, Chrissy. Yeah, sometimes it, certain situations, just having control over something is, is much better. Yeah. My biggest tip is to add it to your card. Oh yes, Alexis, leave it for a few hours. And if you still want to get it, but um, the dopamine rush of adding it to the card was enough. Um, oh yeah, if you still want to get it, but I bet the dopamine rush, sorry. Uh, the, the dopamine rush of adding it to the card was enough and you realize you don't need it. Yes, yes, that really helps. I do this too, as I, a lot of times I'll put stuff on like my wish list somewhat like I'll just save it for later basically because sometimes the card thing like it disappears but I'll put it on my wish list and then so many times I just forget about it again and I really only like remember like a few things and I'm like oh I guess this I really do want still does anyone remember the tv show Fimbles oh I don't now if the theme song stuck in my head oh no ah <sighs> yeah What just all scroll through social media and send you the cozy messages we find? Yeah. Your roommate sounds not really fun. Oh, you mean Chrissy's, right? Yeah. Oh, Clara, you got this. You got this. Lorenzo, welcome on in. I'll go from one freezer drawer to three. Nice. More space for ice cream, which is always a win. Yeah. I tried ordering a laptop and Klana, Klana said no, and I talked to them about it and they basically said I can try again later this week. Oh yeah, Klana is, or Klarna, I don't know how to say that, yeah, that is somewhat dangerous. Hello. It's possible to get out of retail therapy and free yourself from empty material desires, yeah, rooting for everyone who's trying to go on the journey. Yeah, true. Uh, also, by the way, Miss Flippy and also Pink Mill Plays Games. Thank you for those follows. Welcome on in. Wait, why the Klana thing? Um, basically, I just heard if... So I think if you generally buy something and you use Klana to pay for it, like that's fine. But they have this program where you, you pay it in like small... Okay, I don't know how to explain this. What is it called? Schufa? Also, ich habe quasi gehört, wenn man das mit Ratenzahlung macht, dass es manchmal Auswirkungen auf die, auf deine Schufa-Auskunft, die Schufa, äh, keine Ahnung, ähm, haben kann. Ich weiß aber nicht, ob es stimmt. Ich habe es nur mal gehört. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> yeah, and it's very easy to like owe the money somewhat. I guess. I guess, I guess. It made me really happy, first of all, because I'm able to spend more time here. But second of all, I'm really glad you enjoyed the message I sent you. I sent you. Sometimes I want to send you something kind, but then I get anxious because I don't want to overdo it. Oh, no. No, Fia, like I have never like when I've gotten a message from you, I've never thought that it was like overdoing. You always send like this literally the most like considerate and kind messages and always very, I don't know, you're always so like personal in a way that it's very... I don't even know how to how to really describe that, but it, it just seems like you really think about stuff and you really put like lots of thought and effort into the messages. So so I've I've never thought that. Thank you for the kind messages. You know? Ooh, waiting for pizza now. Yum. People tend to buy stuff and then select play pay later and then forget and never pay and keep going and going uh, into deep debt debt. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I've laid out my budget bill for bills for the next two years. I can buy the laptop and pay in installments. Okay, okay, good. I'm currently getting crazy because I'm trying to kick out Raymond from my island. He does not want to leave. Oh, no. Yeah, I don't do that anymore. Oh, every, every contract does that? Okay. 
The German threw me off. I'm sorry. Nur wenn du nicht bis zum Zahltag zahlst. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, so just if you don't pay on time. Yeah. Uh, Metal Panda, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Yeah, because I heard that and I got like very worried about it myself. Um, but like up until this point, I haven't had really any issues. The random German scratches my brain. It's kind of a German thing, or have, have, have I just not heard of it? I thought it was actually, but it might not be. I think I saw like an ad in English the other day, so it might not, not be German. Fia love, yes, yes. Yeah, Klana sounds German. It kind of does. Klana. Klana Abi. Klana International Financial Services. Uh, Swedish, actually. Swedish fintech company that provides online financial services. Klarna. I don't know how to... I, don't, I can't speak... I can't speak Swedish. I don't know why I tried. I don't know why I tried. Hey, it's Eva. Enjoy your dinner. I use it for big purchases. Otherwise, they're mostly third party for me. So I have a guarantee if something goes wrong with my orders. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Your German voice is different. I th you know what it is? I think, I think, okay, I've heard it both ways actually, but I think that my German voice is a little bit lower than my English because it uses like different, I, I say it in like different, <laughs> it sounds so weird. I speak German with like a different part of my mouth and my throat. And I feel like in English, a lot of times because everything's so throaty and stuff, and because you don't have like any harsh sounds, it always, Sounds a little bit higher, maybe? I don't know. Your compliment just made my whole day, which hasn't been good. <gasps> Fia, can we get some love in chat for Fia, please? I'm thankful for the pay in 30 days option on PayPal. True, yeah. It's uh, I like the pay after 30 days option on PayPal because you will pay after that, whether you have it or not. So they don't pile up indefinitely. True, true. Yeah, because... It's like, it's just easy to push the payment off and then that gets like very dangerous, you know? I forgot you were German. <laughs> oh, thank you, PT. Also, Jav, uh, Jav, is it like Jav loves maybe? Jav, thank you for the follow. Oh, come on in. Yeah, German people are very fond of it. I guess I see it a lot in, in like... When I do online shopping, I see Klana being offered like a ton. I got so used to hearing you speak English. I was so surprised your voice is so different in German. <laughs> yeah, I think it might be. It seems, okay, I'll have to say it kind of seems, it seems more natural somewhat to speak English on stream because I'm just not used to the German. I don't know. But German also, it just feels more awkward sometimes. You know? I can understand German mostly, but not at that speed. Yeah, the speed is probably an issue. And then I guess like there's different like dialects or accents in German as well. And I probably like swallow half of the words. So stream English sounds like your customer service voice compar compared to your German. Yeah, it might be. Although, although I will say uh, when I talk on the phone, I have even more of a of a customer service voice for sure. The thing about Shufa is that everyone has points on there. As soon as you have an internet contract or something, it raises much more red flags if you have a completely blank slate there. It only gets bad when you have too many unpaid contracts like rent. Bürgschaften. Okay, yeah. Never heard of it in France, but as soon as I said foot in Germany, have you heard of Klana yet? <laughs> what? <laughs> is it safe to use? One of the companies that I order, order stuff from only has it as a payment option now, so I was hesitant to buy from them again. I have not made any bad experiences with it personally. I have heard though that it can be dangerous for being in debt, but I guess like that probably only happens if you do it like payment and installments. Yeah, your vocal cords do something to some different things in German versus English. Yes. Yeah, I only speak English, but I think German is such a cool language. It's interesting. Someone else said that it sounds pretty, but like German doesn't have 
A lot of people don't think that German sounds very pretty, but that's also because a lot of people, when German is being used in those jokes, it's never really the way that we speak either. So my voice in English is higher than my voice in German. Yeah. I also thought it might be the Sprachmelodie that is so different in English and German. Oh, Yeah, I also, you know what, I was just, the oh, it just made me think the customer service thing might be a, because, so in English, I'd be like, oh, and then in German, I feel like I'd be like, oh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that just kind of made me think, so it might, might be, it might be both combined, it might be both combined for sure, like, oh, echt, echt, come on, <laughs> yeah, German is so pretty, <laughs> I use Klana mostly for clothing as I have to buy stuff in various sizes and send some items back. Yeah, Klana keeps my builds digitally. I can select mark and returns. Uh, I can select and mark returns in the app. It's very handy for me as I get reminded to pay by my phone. Don't have to fear losing the receipt or build document thingy. Same thing for me. I did both my H&M and my ASOS order uh, via Klarna, Klarna, Klarna the other day. And that was very handy because I did have to send some stuff back too. Yeah, I feel like German is quite deep, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Chase Bank. Ooh, you can do it with your Chase account too, like pay in four. And I hate the option. I don't think we, I don't know if we have it. We might. I haven't heard of it, I think. It's German stream only. Mm -mm. No, no. Some words in German are really uncomfortable to say. Yeah, I think some some German words are very hard to say if you're if you come from like for example from English because they're they're kind of harsh in your throat and I feel like that part is never used in English. Like also the Käffchen, you know, or the the way we say the R because it's R just says it in the front of the mouth. I'm not like a professional when it comes to this. People probably can explain this way better than I can. But like in German, it's more at the back, you know? It also, Holly, it's Malin, not Milan. I love Disney, Taylor Swift, Animal Crossing, and Fae Farm, and coloring and bullet journaling. Nice. Nice. I'm originally from like the very center of Germany. I kind of live more in the south now, though. Oh, thank you, Anu. Do people in other countries also have the customer service phone voice? I have definitely seen reels about it, so I think so. <laughs> As a Swede, your pronunciation of Klana is really good. So just the way I say it, Klana, because like that's what I say. That's what I say in German. Oh, but my mom's also told you. Sorry. <laughs> also, Rudy, welcome on in. Land der Dichter und Denker. Mm, true, true. German is unique. It has sounds which seem really hard to replicate. Yeah, true. Oh, yeah, Sarah. So Sarah would be Sarah. Sarah in German. See, that's also Sarah would be Sarah. <laughs> My French voice is like higher than English is lower and German is like even deeper. Mm hmm. True. I never had the Klana debt problem, but I would have if I didn't change my shopping habits. Change my shopping habits. Yeah. I use it when I do slightly larger purchases that were not planned for the month, but I still need them so I can pay it in the next month. Actually, that's a good idea. My name shows the difference in the pronunciation quite well. True. So it, it, I always say Chrissy, but Chrissy is German. So actually her name is Chrissy. But I say Chrissy because when I say like English things, throwing that like hard Chrissy in there is kind of weird. Or there's also people um, who do like, I can't do it, but like the Chrissy, and they roll the R. I can't do that though. For me, it's just Chrissy. Chrissy. <laughs> Now, how am I? <laughs> yeah, so so that's kind of a difference for sure. I think that is probably a hard to say sound or hard to make sound. I plan out every purchase I make. That's kind of awesome, Lolooney. 
I've lived in the US for so long now that my friends and family complain that I have an American accent in my Dutch when I visit home. Isn't that so interesting how that can happen? I don't know. Language is wild, but yeah. Where would you recommend visiting in Germany for someone who's never been? I live in the US and have only ever been to Australia and New Zealand. Ooh. Um, well, I guess if you're interested in like history and Germany's history and historic, like, yeah, all that kind of stuff. Berlin is very much an interesting city, but it definitely is not the cutest. It's kind of dirty and it's kind of, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I would say Hamburg is pretty awesome. Um, personally, I like Cologne, but Cologne doesn't really have the best, uh, I sit here and say, <laughs> you see out loud. Oh yeah, do you roll it? Do you roll the R, Bumby? Um, but yeah, so Cologne, I would say was pre is pretty cute, but a lot of people kind of consider it like a not so cute city. Um, Munich is nice. Munich is a little bit more posh and yeah, <laughs> I do. Chrissy, <laughs> I can't do it. My mom can. I think my mom does it sometimes. I can't. It actually makes the makes Spanish very hard because I can't. I try, but I can't. That's what I had to get over with trying to learn Swedish. Yeah, true. My customer voice is so much higher. Yeah. Yeah, also, so normally I, I kind of talk like this. If I'm on the phone, like, hello, ich hab angerufen, weil ich wollte noch einen Termin haben. And, and then my, my German kind of goes very high too. And I hate it because I'm always like, no. Low voice, authority, listen to me. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah. My last name is French. I don't really know any French. That's okay. French is a hard language too. German Chrissy is way more metal. Chrissy. <laughs> Paulina is also kind of different. Yeah, Paulina and Paulina. Yeah. I also say my name a little bit differently again because I think the it just something something happens in the throat. I'm I, when I when I introduce myself in English, I'm 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 saying like my name is Malin, and when I say when I say it in German, Malin, Malin, Malin. I don't know. It's also kind of different, I think. Also, you know, I always, my roommate is, uh, I always call her cat when I talk about her here. Here, I never call her cat when I speak German. I always say Katarina. <laughs> and then I think Chrissy was like, <laughs> Chrissy found that so funny because she kind of, I think she imagined me going like, Katarina. <laughs> But uh, yeah. <laughs> I never, I don't know. I feel like it's so weird to say cat when I'm talking about her in, in German, you know? It sounds so official. It kind of does, but it's just, I don't know. I have both R's. That's why people always ask us to say purple burglar alarm. Oh yeah, because you're Scottish. Purple burglar uh, It's kind of like you mix like Spanish and English together <laughs> somewhat. <laughs> I cannot for the life of me try to, I would love to mock your accent, but I just can't. My skills are not, my, my skills are not like that. Oh, Dresden is very nice. Dresden is actually very pretty. Yeah. Potsdam, I don't think I've explored enough for me to know that. That was also like quite a few years ago, but yeah. When I speak English, my Scottish accent comes out a little in a pronunciation. Whereas when I speak Swedish, my regional accent comes out. Oh, Berlin is sort of like what they say about Paris. Uh, cool for a day, but not cute. Munich is high on my list. I have actually never been to Paris, but maybe, maybe. I feel like a day is not enough really, because Berlin is, because of like historical things, because it was like usual, it was like divided into two parts. It's kind of torn apart in a sense that it, you, you might need like a little bit more time to explain, to explore it, but yeah. Cologne is my favorite, but I don't, only ever visited, so I don't know about infrastructure. Public transport is amazing, though, and oh my gosh, the Rhine River is so pretty. Yes. Rakholzbrücke. <laughs> oh, Devil's Bridge in Saxony, because it's the IRL Spirit Fair ever door. Yep. Yep. 
I'll never say Chrissy in the German. Yeah, because uh, it Chrissy. <laughs> Chrissy. <laughs> Lüneburg, yeah. If you're in Hamburg, you got to do a little trip. Spreewald. All right, all right. I hate talking on the phone when I don't know, don't know the other person. Yeah, yeah. I can take a bus from where I am in Sweden all the way to Hamburg via Denmark, and sometimes I'm kind of tempted. Ooh, I would be tempted. I would, I mean, Denmark is very, very, very pretty, and then seeing Hamburg too. I like that. Kati? She's just not a Kati to me. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't see her as, as that, you know? Yeah, Kat doesn't give me Kati. She, so her friends, like a few of her friends call her Katty, Kitty in like the German, Kitty. And I was like, I will not call you that. <laughs> and now I just say Katarina. Yeah, I don't know. Also, Tara, welcome on in. Yeah, in Swedish, we have a longer E. Yeah, my, I think my mom read the name and she was just like, oh, Malin. And then I've had to battle kind of people mispronouncing my name the like my entire life. But I think it's usually it's more like, isn't it in Swedish more like a Malin? I don't know. It's not common at all, unfortunately. It's a Swedish name, I think. It's not common at all. I basically always have to spell it and it still gets like misspelled and mispronounced and everything. Yeah. If someone called me Kathy. Oh my God, Kathy. Did you hear? <laughs> oh, Heidelberg is very pretty. I agree. Spanish English. I can see it, right? Yeah. Midweek in Berlin was perfect. Oh, okay. Berlin doesn't really give, give good impressions of Germany. Agreed. <sighs> Last time when I visited the Rhine River in Cologne, I found a crab skeleton that was like 99% intact. Ooh, coolest souvenir ever for a biologist. Ooh. I used to live in Kassel. One city I definitely can recommend to go there. Mm, yeah. Lindau on Lake Constance. Bodensee, yeah. Lake Constance. Ooh, I did not know it was called that. Do you watch things in German or do you have it in subtitles? I usually watch everything in English um, and then have like English subtitles with it. But I, I don't know. I, I think I, I usually go for subtitles with everything now just because, um, you know, you'll open a bag of, of chips or crisps uh, and then, you know, there will be like crinkling sounds and stuff. But yeah, I try to watch it in, in English usually. I always keep saying people's full names if I find them very pretty, even though we're on nickname territory. Yeah. Yeah, we were. So we're watching Grey's Anatomy and Arizona has finally come on on screen. And um, like everyone else calls Callie Callie, but she's the only who's like Calliope. <laughs> <laughs> Which I think is kind of fun. That just reminded me of that one. Yeah, I'm also in the misspelled names club. Yep. It's so weird hearing you talk about me and my weird names. I'm listening just like, oh, wait, I'm here lurking. <laughs> oh, is that me? That's me. <laughs> yeah. Kat is ready to throw hands. No, no, she's 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 okay with it. I think uh, she has to be okay with it. Oh, also, by the way, be careful with the, with the spoilies about Grey's because we're still only at somewhere in season five. I couldn't catch a word in something I was watching. And so I rewind, put the subtitles on and the subtitles said muttering. Oh my God. I watched, what was it? Dark, that Netflix show that's German. I watched it in German, which is my mother language. I should understand it. I literally could not understand the main character, like the main actor. I couldn't understand it. So I had to put on the subtitles. Oh. <sighs> I love Arizona. Yeah. Don't even get me started on my name and spelling. Yep. Mitzi und Onaha. I was like, ah, it's Malin. M A L I N. I always just say it. I always just say it right away. And with an E in the United States, it's not super common. So I'm always having to tell people how to spell my name. Oh. Oh, 
interesting. I when I first started reading that comment, I thought of the TV show, the Anne with an E. But that's right. Usually, a lot of times, Anne is just spelled A N N. Yeah. My middle name is basically the Latin for twin flower, and I've never heard it pronounced prettily in English. Linnea. Very pretty though. Very very pretty. I'm rewatching Game of Thrones. Oh, if, if captions were not an option, I'd be lost. Me, always. Uh, Fridolin, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. I watch Shameless with subtitles for some reason, but sometimes the subtitles are so off from what they're actually saying. I hate when that happens. <gasps> I was trying to watch something in Spanish at some point, and I don't even remember, I don't know what it was, but I watched it in Spanish and I was like, oh, let me just put on the Spanish subtitles and see like what I get, what I catch and what I understand. And like the stuff that they were saying didn't match what was written there. And I was like, how am I supposed to learn? How am I, how am I supposed to learn? Holly, yeah, not a Y, but I E. Yeah, Holly with an I E. <laughs> Luna, welcome on in. Yeah, it, Christine, K E E S T E N. <laughs> and then they spell still spell Christine mm -hmm, with a C H and the E. My favorite is when the subtitles are in English and someone speaks a different language and they literally just put speaking German. Yeah, <laughs> it's like things. Oh, and also as a German, I can tell you that a lot of times those people, because and like a lot of times they're made out to be native Germans. They're not. They're not. And we can tell. And I don't know why people don't just cast German actors. I feel like they shouldn't be hard to come by, even in the United States. <laughs> but like when when there's people speaking German, it's a lot of times it's it's just oof. Oof. You know? And Fridolin, welcome to the chat. Erica, welcome on in. And also, uh, Nicola, welcome on in. Or is it Nicolage? Welcome on in. I don't know why that that made, that just reminded me of Brooklyn Nine Nine. I was like, is that Nicolage? Nicolage. <sighs> is there somewhere I could send a PM uh, at all about an issue I've seen at all regarding a user, one of the moderators of Better? Uh, you can you can DM one of my mods. Yeah, I don't know if they already responded to you, but you can DM one of my mods. Uh, Butterfly Ellie, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Same with the Dutch guy and friends. The things he said were completely wrong. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah. It's actually Nicolaj. 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 <laughs> oh, it's so great. The subtitles mostly cut out the cuss words, but they add so much to the context. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. What is also why does the spelling of my last name is completely a normal German word, a noun with four letters. You might think that it would make it easy, but it's always spelled wrong, so I have to spell it out. Maybe it's just because people don't assume that like a normal word like that would be your your last name, so they like, oh, this must be spelled in a very special way, you know? Oh yeah, G Gunther. Gunther is is Dutch. And there isn't there one more. Uh, there's actually this subplot of, uh, you know, um, who, who's looking for an apartment and then the grandma is like, is dying and so Ross pretends to be fluent in Dutch or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, that's it. And one of the guys that Phoebe dates. Ooh, maybe. Maybe. They date a lot of people, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, Gunther is supposed to be Dutch. Yeah, Bumby just likes to sneak around. Bumby's just always like... <laughs> enjoy your lurk, Holly. Enjoy your food. There's also Klaus in How I Met Your Mother, who in the German dub has a sexish dialect. Oh my god. I hate when they do that. It's it's super hard though because when they have someone with like a German accent, but like why not? I don't get why like in German they wouldn't in the German dub version they wouldn't just make that person like I don't know Dutch or something, like something very close, but so that there is like an accent for us. But don't make it like a 
Lower Saxony type of dialect. Like, that's... I don't know. There was a woman who was Dutch and both Joey and Chandler want to date her. Oh! Oh my god, yeah, when they're playing the game outside. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. And Joey's like, Netherlands isn't even a real country. Yes, true, true. I feel attacked now. Listen, Vanessa, you said it yourself earlier. So I was like, I, it's probably fine if I make a joke about it now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, change the English typical saying to completely different one in another language. Yep. Yep. Elliot and Scrubs when she speaks German and is just shouting. Oh my god, I've never seen Scrubs, but I know I know the scene you're talking about because I've seen like uh, clips of it. And I was also thinking like, really? Really? And the German version, they made her Dutch. Oh my god, I can't. <laughs> I can't. All right, y'all, I think we'll take a break because I have to actually have to, have to pee. And um, we've been chatting for two hours. We've been chatting for two hours and we haven't started playing Animal Crossing, which is totally fine because I've enjoyed chatting, but you know. So I might have to take a short break. Bathroom break, hydration break, snack break, anything, anything, anything that you want it to be, I guess. Um, yeah. Galigru and Katarina. Mm-hmm. My drinks are empty. Perfect timing. Very good. The actress of Elliot actually speaks German really well. Ooh, but the fact that they need to scream to make it authentic is just so overused. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Savage. Welcome back also. Um, And also Charlie Lane, welcome on in. Popping in for a little while I'm stuck under my sleeping baby. Oh, no worries. No worries. Welcome on in. Yeah, we'll take a very short break. Um... Oh, study break, good luck, Subby. Uh, we'll take a short break um, because I've, I haven't taken one just yet and I need to, I need, I need to take a bathroom break and a uh, quick stretch and all that kind of stuff. And then once we're back, I think we'll go into some Animal Crossing. Uh, we'll do code shopping though. So, you know, the chill chatting vibes will basically continue. So enjoy the break. I can't press my buttons, so I need to find my scene. Um, enjoy the break and uh, yeah, go get yourself something to drink and snack, it's important. And I'll see you in a few minutes.
Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoy your break. Did you get anything to drink? Did you get snacks? Did you stretch? Did you do anything? Uh, please tell me. Tell me everything. Also, Fate, welcome on in. Hello, welcome to the chat. Um, all right. Uh, this is, what is this? This is currently the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Sometimes this is wrong. It sometimes takes like a second to update. I don't know. Sometimes it works right away. Sometimes it doesn't. It's kind of weird. <laughs> oh God, I'm doing well, Fate. How are you? Quick, quick stretch and water chug. Very good. Didn't even move. That's okay. I made a tree farm. Nice. First time being in a stream. Welcome on in, Emmy. Um, thank you for being my work company. I've watched almost all the Callum playthrough I was working over the last couple of weeks. My new favorite game is now. Can this be a tree? Let's go, Emmy. Welcome to the Twitch side of things. Welcome on in. I found my villager within the break. Oh my god, Natty, let's go. Now to find the perfect time for my DA and a quick cleanup and it's new island time. Oh my god, Natty, that's so exciting. Have fun. A dance break. Oh, Shmikey, let's go. Got up and stretched, made a coffee, and I'm good to go. Let's go. Break was good. I didn't even move, got distracted. Yes, I got distracted by a very sweet TikTok DM. Aw, starting to count to shit posts yesterday. People are so supportive. I love it. <laughs> Clean my dishes and I'm cooking. Ooh. Is the stream playlist on Spotify? Yes, it is. So basically it is called DMCA Free Lo-Fi. Uh, I made like a, like a version myself because there were a few songs that got claimed over on YouTube, but there is one uh, called DMCA Free Lo-Fi by Slow-Fi. Yeah, that's on there. Uh, I have a question. Can only the mods and VIPs use the comfy emote? Uh, the comfy emote is actually a bit emote. Um, I think you unlock this one once you've cheered a thousand bits or more in the channel. And then I think you keep it for basically forever. Even if you're like not subbed, you keep the bit emotes that you've unlocked. Yeah. Uh, have you played Hogwarts Legacy? I have not. I do try to stay away from anything Harry Potter, to be fair, because of... She who shall not be named. Um, so I haven't played it, no. Oh, and we, we even have a playlist uh, command. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I have a tips and tricks. Uh, I have a tips and tricks video. I actually have a couple of, of videos that are kind of uh, like tips around the gameplay. So tips and tricks. I kind of talk about custom designs and pathing. There's uh, definitely some stuff on YouTube. Yes. Uh, Jan, welcome on in. Looking forward to the code shopping, possibly stealing a design or two. Let's go. Also, Faith, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Um, yeah. Found the playlist. Let's go. <laughs> also, Miyazaki, welcome on in. Oh, of course, your break. Of course. And we also keep it even if you stop uh, and cancel your affiliate contract. That's true. Yeah, if you just stop streaming, cancel your affiliate uh, contract. Yes. Yes. Also, Gianna, welcome on in. Alrighty. Are we ready for some Animal Crossing? Um, so I I will switch over and then we'll kind of take it one step at a time. I'll I'll sh I'll tell you about like the uh, plans and all that. I had to stop playing Sims and now working on my research proposal. <gasps> Good luck. Not so bad watching the stream. Nice. Good luck, Alexis. Uh, I'm excited to see what codes you find for the new island. Me too. Me too. I am uh, a little nervous, but I, th I saw that Bambi actually put like a bunch of codes. So I feel like I feel like there's hope out there. Okay, let me change our category to Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing New Horizons. There we go. Um, and no caps or too many caps, just too many caps. So if you do like the odd word out in caps or something like that, uh, then that's totally okay. We just, every time someone does like a message mostly in caps, we kind of remind people just because we don't want to get to get out of hand at, at, at all. Um, but yeah, just, just too many. Aww. Oh, I'm glad I can kind of, I don't know. It's, I feel like that's such a small thing to do, but the fact that that makes you, I mean, 
I don't want to assume, but that the fact that that hopefully makes you feel a bit more welcome and stuff is, is very good. Did you flatten? I did. I did. Okay, let's actually see if my capture card is still working here. Um, I need to go over to gameplay. <gasps> it is. Am I still moving? I'm still moving. Slay. <laughs> so I actually did flatten. Um, last stream. Uh, last stream. Flat Island. Um, we reached three stars. So we put up like a whole bunch of random decorations. You know what? I will quickly do a little resync because I think it might be it might be out of sync. Uh, Elgato game capture. There we go. Um, yeah, I I absolutely I absolutely uh, agree, Tades. It's so sad because it's like a world that gives a lot of people such comfort, and the fact that you know its creator is such a huge. Oh God, I can't even. Um, it it really it really sucks. It really sucks. And I you know I don't I don't want to take that world away from anyone. Um, but. I will just not be like making it a topic on my on my channel and stuff because of yeah, just not wanting to give it more attention than it needs, I guess. <sighs> I love that river so much. It's a starter one, but it looks so good. It does, right? Alrighty. So welcome to Kefian. This is still, I would say, a pretty brand new island. Uh we I think this is stream number four that we're playing on it. We started it. The next stream we um we or the third one did we start it last sunday this might only be the third one that we've played on it the first uh, stream was us starting this island and last stream we actually reached the three stars i will show you my map i will show you the villagers that we have so there was me uh, and then Tank and Hazel were the starters. Then we had Rex, Patty, and June as the first three villagers. So like the normal um, Peppy and Lazy. That's it. Uh, Roswell was our campsite visitor. And then, no, wait. No, yeah, 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 yeah. Roswell was our campsite visitor, I think. And then we had Camo Frog and Eloise as the autofills after. So everyone has been pretty much autofilled, but we have been... We've been quite, uh, we've been quite lucky so far. And also, Wild, welcome on in. Welcome on in. Uh, thank you, Meowski. It's actually from Threats and, Th uh, Threats and Thistles. I do have an affiliate code for them. They do like some cute, cozy uh, gamer merch, which is, which is very fun. Uh, I feel like Nintendo needs to collab with Animal Crossing creators, have them design starter maps, some items, etc. That would be fun. Yeah. Yeah, agreed, Jules, for sure. I went through so much as a kid and teenager and reading the books and watching the movies or how I ran away from everything. I get that, Tadies. Yeah. I'm so excited for this island. Me too. I'm very nervous about it. So basically what I did since the last stream is I basically just flatten it. Um, some people came over on the Wednesday stream to help me get rid of all the trees and all the unwanted roses. And then I basically went in after stream and the last couple of days I flattened the island. Um, so all of the cliffs back here are completely gone, which actually that I didn't realize we had a huge chunk of cliff like this took a while uh, and I just was wearing down my Joy-Con um, much more than I already did before, I guess. Um, but yeah, so I flattened everything. We've got like no tall grown weeds back here, but that's okay. And I also got rid of like the river and pond parts that were like partially on top of the cliff. But I did make sure to keep this like this one a continuous river part from like the initial landscaping because I quite like this. I thought this was quite cute. We might be able to incorporate that into our uh, decorating. I did skip a, a day backwards just before, so I feel like there probably won't be a message bottle, but I'll kind of check as I as I run run a around. Um, it's so relaxing to play Animal Crossing while we watch the stream. Yeah, I love playing Animal Crossing while watching like streams or even like, I don't know, TV shows, YouTube videos. Like it's just, it's just the best time. It's like the best game to just play and, oh, it, there is a message bottle. Okay. Uh, it's like the best game to play and still be able to like do something else on the side too, which is quite, quite nice. Uh, Iron Closet, we'll take it. Uh, do you always choose to flatten? I feel like that's a thing for you. It kind of is. A lot of times I'll flatten because for some reason the like initial landscaping feels um I don't know it's just not exactly the way that I want it to be and so it kind of can feel a little bit claustrophobic I guess um 
but this time I specifically did it because I plan to have a uh, flat island. I just want to use waterscaping here. I, I don't want to use any, uh, any landscaping, any cliffs whatsoever. And instead, I just want to have, uh, yeah, flat island. Uh, in case you haven't heard of this island before, uh, it's called Kefian, which is kind of a name that references both uh, a small, like, tiny village as well as a coffee. It's like a German word, basically. And um, it is supposed to be an island that somewhat references or like takes its inspiration from like German countryside and like small tiny villages and so I want to do um yeah little clusters of houses basically more simple of like a more simple island uh so we're gonna leave tiles behind in case you know some of my other islands I usually decorate every single tile that we have on our islands this time I don't want to do that intentionally though so we'll see how that goes I'm not really sure just yet yeah, I'm working until 9. I've definitely been watching lots of videos to get inspiration for my new island, but I'm stuck. I get that. Sometimes it's okay to lean into that feeling too and just play something else for a while and then get back to Animal Crossing later. It's easier to vision something when an island is flattened. It is for me too, I think, but I think that some people also feel the exact opposite. Um, so I guess it's just, you know, try to think of like what would work for you. Waterscaping only, yes. I surprisingly flattened Moon Cove and it made it such a nice blank space to plan things out. Mm, my others I didn't flatten. I uh, plan to flatten Elowen, Elowen though, yeah. I kind of like it. I don't know. I think I think people are very split on it though. I, also, Gianna, welcome on in. No worries, Chrissy. Um, what else did I do? I did go in. Oh, yeah, I did go to some treasure islands. Um, I haven't. So I went to some that were sorted like A to Z. I haven't gotten to all of them just yet, though. I initially wanted to keep my nook's cranny small. That didn't really work out. But, you know, so we have to work with that shop just now. And then I also got uh, some more flowers. So I plan on using mostly like white, yellow and orange and green mums. I was thinking of the dark flowers, but I maybe not maybe not and then i did also grab some like i guess these are considered orange pansies they're more like red but these are some of my favorites so i kind of just like those and i also got these for possible like strawberries at some point um what else can i show you i tried to get a whole bunch of the nook mile redemption so sh we should be able to get uh we should be able to get like codes and such i have not played the dlc yet <laughs> But I will, so that we can also customize the villager homes. Um, and then here's like my storage. It kind of, yeah, there's a lot of brown. It kind of has some like castle, not castle, sorry, has some city or like town vibes, I guess. But like it's it's a very, a very basic setup of items, I guess. Um, so yeah, we've got a whole bunch of a whole bunch of stuff. I haven't I haven't finished everything plan for today would be to do some code shopping and also maybe we can give my house a little bit of a different customization already and then everything else will probably just be uh, as we go type of thing and I do want to check for outfits because I just I keep checking Nook's Cranny no I keep checking Able Sisters for outfits and now that Nook's Cranny has upgraded I also keep checking there because now it doesn't matter anyways I rarely flatten because they're flat. My brain isn't working anymore and I lose interest. Yeah, see, that can also happen. And then once I finished an island, I always... Oh, thank you for the fashionista. <laughs> once I finish an island, I always flatten it, but just for like a video. I don't really do anything with that then. Oh, I kind of like this shirt, actually. So I think I'd go and wear this one if I can. I don't know if you've got any plans for me specifically and then they do have my pants on offer again which i could just get the green one but i think i already got it or i could get a skirt persephone gets to choose if you want to uh, skirt or pants pants great <gasps> little horns Ooh, i kind of want to wear little horns i'll keep my glasses if that's fine um I like my socks too. Green green trousers. Of course, the trousers. It's not pants. Of course, sorry. <laughs> okay, and then uh, shoes. Oh, the cast. Oh my god, no. Wingtip shoes? I kind of like my... I just recently purchased my chucks, so I kind of like those. Maybe we can go for some orange socks to fit our backpack, though. Maybe horns and orange too? 
Yeah. Or green. Bare feet. Mm. I've become a headache girly. Oh no. Bummy, I hope you feel better. I hope you feel better soon. A loungewear shirt is a favorite of mine. It's cute, right? I like it too. I was happy to see the the shirt that I had before. Uh, that was actually kind of a nice find, but yeah. Um, I didn't finish watching the last two streams, so I didn't know Nook's Crayon yet upgrade it. Yeah, I don't know what happened, Lie Doodle. Uh, something I must have done. It, it, something must have happened for it to upgrade. Now we got to work with it. Yeah. Okay, so I'll do orange, orange horns, and then I guess I have to take off my shoes. I, I want to wear that, yes. I started flattening my island, my island and just finished getting rid of the top layer and I'm already sick of it. Yeah, it sucks. It, it, oh, is it Lee Doodle? Is it Lee Doodle? Oh yeah, correct me if I'm wrong about any pronunciations, please. Okay, new outfit with little horns. Perfect. Um, I think... Oh, Lid Doodle. Like, like, Lid. Okay, Lid Doodle. Is that it? Or Lid, Lid Doodle. Lid Doodle. Okay, okay, got it. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you for letting me know, though. I appreciate that. Um, alrighty. So, um, can I access the custom design portal from my pockets? I can. Okay, that's perfect. So, before we do that... I feel like we need to think a little bit about the time of day because we kind of need to figure out a good time of the day to figure out if the codes that we look for work during that time, you know? And um, also we're gonna check kicks. I think what we're hurt what we have on is kind of best though. Um I have a ton of pathing to do and hopefully can get a chunk done today, maybe feeling slightly under weather. Oh, definitely don't uh, overdo it then. When you time travel two months, it will automatically upgrade after 30 days. But I, I had an island before where I kept it small and I did a lot of time traveling and it never upgraded there. So I don't know. Okay. So, I don't know. <laughs> I definitely would like for it to be at 6 a.m. I think that's something we kind of talked about before. Um, but... I don't know specifically about the time of year. I kind of have a feeling that like fall would be better though. Um, also, I've seen, I feel like I've seen a lot of fossil spots, but I'm kind of scared that they, they will be like eggs, but I'm like in June or May. So I sh it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be eggs, but I'm kind of scared. <laughs> oh, turtles, welcome back. It's random whether it upgrades or not. It feels like that at least. It kind of does, yeah. It kind of does. I'll kind of throw these out, I think. A uh, color scheme is going to be mostly, I guess, like neutrals. So I would say anything like, um, you know, like green, brown, black and white, beige, like all that kind of stuff. And then I think there will definitely be some orange and yellow in it as well. I think I think that's kind of probably what nails it. And then the plan is to make it a bit more simple. So there will definitely be like open tiles and um, yeah, I feel like I hear a balloon. All right. So I think I want to try going to, what is it? Is it September? Do we go, do we go, um, do we go September? Yeah. Late summer, early fall, early morning for the time. Yes. When you have a blank space, which fillers are your favorite? Oh, I usually go for like natural fillers. So I'll I'll use like trees and like flowers and shrubs and um, fences are really nice. Okay, what is considered early fall? Is that September? Like early September? Because um, Sycamore was... Sycamore definitely was um, October, I think, middle of October. And that was kind of, that was not really like early fall. That was like, that was like transition to fall. We'll start with this, okay? And then once we figure out like a nice-ish time, then we can do the, the coat shopping for sure. Eloin was at bunny day time and I automatically time traveled. Yeah, I can't deal with the zipper. I just, I can't. 
The book come back, comes back next Sunday in IRL time. Yeah, when I I think last last stream because I time traveled because of the three stars to get like the villagers more quickly, <laughs> and he showed up already, and I just couldn't. Immediately makes me want to want to log off. Honestly, I would tie to the weeds. Agreed. Agreed. The early September weeds are very, or early, not early September, the early fall weeds are very nice when, they, when they're still green, but they got the little weed parts. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's not bad. Mid to late September is nice for early fall. Okay. September, like early in the morning, I feel like it would be cute. Yes. September 15th to 20th, I think, would be perfect. Still has some darker hardwood trees, too. Oh, I forgot the tree part. Oh, I don't have any trees to test. I should have planted a couple of trees to look at them because I don't know what they look like. I guess, like, maybe the grass color doesn't change much, so we can still do the coat shopping somewhat. Also, thinking about setting my island in September... Um, I love the coloring of everything. Yeah. And I still want it to be green. Like I really, I don't want to, I don't want to have like fall colors. <clears throat> oh gosh. I love, I'm going to shake my, my head. My hair is going to stay exactly the same though. <laughs> okay. We have some letters. Mm hmm. Some more money. That's nice. Yeah. No trees. No trees. I can bring some trees to test. Oh, true. Look at this. Ah, oh, that's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. I was thinking that maybe we can also find like a day where there's like a little bit of rain, but like not, not like, like a lot of rain. It's just like a few clouds, you know, a few clouds, a couple of raindrops, that type of style. This is what I'm thinking though. Uh, trees are like a, so this is the 1st of September, literally. Um, trees we can kind of decide, so we could go like a tiny bit later on. These are the only things that are annoying me. Mole and bell crickets, um, are not going to be my favorite. And I do believe that we're going to have to take some of these weeds down because there's no, like no weeds in the back of the island, which I'm not really a fan of. So there's that. Okay. Message in a bottle. Why are you not wearing shoes? Uh, ask Persephone. Persephone requested for me not to wear any, so apparently I just do that stuff that- oh wow, ew. Wooden block stool, okay. Probably won't need it, but you know. Yeah, cricket season. I- I hate- oh actually wait, it's not even the mole cricket. Mole cricket is the one in spring. I feel like that one's actually better though because- <laughs> because you can dig it up, you can find it, or you can plant some weeds and then just get rid of that way, you know? Yeah. Feel the soft grass on your feet through the socks. Yeah, it's quite nice. Oh yeah, catch it, Patty. Come on. Come on, Patty. You can do it. Catch it. Patty, do it. How did she not catch that? She was she literally hit it like dead sender. Like, you know? That outfit is a 10 out of 10. The headwear fits your character perfectly. I will take that as a compliment. I know she totally caught that. <laughs> you made her nervous, but she totally caught it though. She like actually literally caught it. You know, <laughs> zero out of 11 performance. No. <laughs> Alrighty. So why don't we kind of get started? Like, there's so many of these crickets too. Why don't we kind of get started over here? So, okay, I will go ahead and get started with a little bit of pathing, I think. Because that's the one thing I do know is that I like to use in-game dirt pathing. Technically, I guess, like, the roads, even in villagers, even in tiny villagers, the roads are not really dirt. Um, But I think these kind of look cuter. I haven't really decided how wide I'm going to make them. Just two seems almost, like, too small, but maybe also not. Um, yeah, we might have to go with three, which kind of is going to be a little bit awkward because of like symmetry, but I think we can make it work. <laughs> Thank you, Chrissy. Yeah, we'll try it without it first and then we'll see. 
Imagine if villagers could catch stuff and donate them to the museum. I would be, okay, low-key, I think I would be kind of pissed if they could donate it because I want to get all the credit, you know? Um, but they should catch them for sure. Um, doing in-game and then layering on top, and it's a lot of work. It is. Uh, Kat and I did that for Storybrooke, so basically we had this entire, like, city... Mush underscore Tady Sarah just donated. I absolutely love your streams and the comfy, cozy vibes you give off. So confused. I also really enjoy that you're so interactive with your audience. I feel like that is such an important part of being a streamer YouTuber. Keep up the amazing work. <laughs> I can't wait to see this island. Wow, oh, that text to speech is also awesome. keep up the amazing work. <laughs> oh, thank you. Hold on. Oh my god, thank you so much for the sweet message. And thank you for the support as well. Um, all have been too nice to me today. I can't deal with this. Thank you so, so much. Also, by the way, would you like me to call you Sarah? I can I can definitely call you Sarah instead of Tades. Thank you so much for the Kofi support and the very sweet message to go along with that. I really appreciate that. Hello. Thank you. Um, and uh, is it Appcast? Appcast? Thank you for the follow. Hello. Welcome on in. And Child also, thank you. Welcome on in. Oh, the Kofi TTS lady sounds like Persephone. <laughs> yeah. Although I guess not, not Scottish enough, maybe. Hey, that scared me for a second. I was like, wait, who is talking? I, um... I got I got confused by the alert. I was like, why is there starting music? Where is that coming from? <laughs> oh, Sarah's fine. I just love mashed potatoes. I made that my name. Listen, I feel like that was a good call on your part. Potatoes are actually I I, I just snacked on a potato real quick during the break. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, Chrissy, I actually think I have that code also. So um, the first thing I think I want to check is I want to have. Because I saw that on someone else's island, I think. Sorry, cable issues. Now I want a Persephone text-to-speech. Is there a Scottish? We could check if there's a Scottish text-to-speech one. Oftentimes there's not, though, I think. Can I go into... Because I just remember the um, the German one was, was terrible. On Twitch, we have the German one. Um, but the German one on Kofi was not great. English, United Kingdom, English, nah, no, we just got United Kingdom, United States. And then here's the, here's the German. Can I test? Oh. Oh, there we go. I was like, wait. So me only your stone at it. I made coffee boat up here. And then I feel like that's the, the, that's really out there. There's that's really out there. There's a there's a different voice for German too. Hold on. It takes so long. I did some testing before and it always worked like instantaneously. So me ohne just donated. Tiere was a young boat from Kofi Husa eat well hello tiere do excuse ma. Two books and ten cents, four pounds and three pence. It's all in your bank with no fee. Like she's not even trying. That the thing is, I feel like the Twitch, the Twitch one, they're trying to speak English, but it's just with a German accent. She doesn't try. She just says a letter sometimes, so it makes no sense. And that's why we went with the British instead. We're like, oh, we'll be posh then, you know? There is unfortunately not. Oh, was it a, uh, it was a woman, right? It was Abby, I think. There's also Alfie. Alfie from the United Kingdom. So Miona. No. <laughs> there have been times I will sit and peel potatoes at 2 a.m. just so Someone I can make myself. Donated. I like turtles. So I can make myself mashed potatoes. Oh, that's such a mood. Also, Leah, welcome back. Yeah, I think we'll go back to, to Abby. Abby from the UK. Okay, there we go. 
<laughs> yeah, the German voice reminds me of Deutsche Bahn. I don't want to think about them. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, same, same. Okay, back to the topic. <laughs> So the first thing I would like to check, because I've seen this on some other people's islands and I thought this was amazing, um, is actually this little, I probably just type in the code and then I show you, is basically this like white line for the side of the in-game path. So you can use the in-game path, which also looks quite cute on the map maybe, um, but you just have lines on the side to kind of make it appear more like a like a road code, I guess. Five seven five one. The little chalk edge, yes. Um, and then I also saved the code where you um, you get like diagonal pieces, which you don't get with this. But like they just didn't use anything, and it was kind of nice for that too. Um, so yeah. Okay. Shall we? I feel like there was another code that I had too. So we are gonna test two against each other. I think. Um, the question is, do I get everything? Do I get everything from this creator and then test everything against the other one? Or do I just get like parts? I also saved that in a weird spot. Maybe I get everything. Probably have to do like the entire, the entire outline, right? And then there's like an inner corner too. Everything and then test, I would say. Okay. There are also bicycles in the style. Ooh, I like that. Was that up the upper edge? No, it was not. We're gonna have to resort this, okay, in in, in just a bit. Okay. So side pieces I have. Let's go for corners next. Yeah. I'm using this one and I love it. Ooh, okay, good. Good, good, good. Kaylee also welcome on in. I do that kind of code on my slow play island too. It feels like a really good choice because it's just kind of it's just kind of calm, you know? Like there's not too much happening. I have seen some of these types of codes, but like there's a full on path underneath it, but it kind of looks like the in-game dirt. It just has slightly different like edges than usually. Uh, and they look a little bit more, um, I don't know, I guess like detailed or artsy and they're really cute too, but I wanted to maybe try and work with this just because of the entire like showing up on the, on the map kind of thing. Okay, so this person also has... A bear and a diamond. You know what? I'm going to get everything. I feel like I should get everything. So bear goes here in the center. And then I will... I don't know if I'll use the bear. I feel like that doesn't quite match the vibes. But we can always download, test, and then delete everything that we don't need later on. You know? I feel like that's that's kind of... That's always easy to do. Oh, and I should favorite the creator too. I tend to forget this. But then again, the... <laughs> The favoriting option that Nintendo gives you is kind of not great because I rarely go back to these because there's no like, there's no, uh, there's no like, no organization, you know? Oh yeah. Do you upgrade my house on my spicy island or do I keep it small? <gasps> Ooh, I feel like the bigger house would look better in the castle town, but I truly can't be bothered to decorate that. Oh yeah, for the castle town, I would say upgrade. To be fair, I get the decorating part, though. I really get the decorating part. And the thing is, like, you know, you can block some of the other... You could just leave it empty, though. You could you could just not, de not uh, decorate it. That would be totally fine. You could block off a chunk, but you'd still have to decorate. Or I guess, like, you could still go into the upstairs and the downstairs and the main room, which are already kind of a ton. Okay, so that's those... That's code number one. And then I have like a very similar one. Um, from another creator. By the way, I just saved these on my Pinterest. So if you go onto my Pinterest, I think my username there is SparksbyTTV. Hello. I think. Um, I have like a, a pin board um, for this, which is called Kefian. You can also find it if you, if you look at my website. <gasps> oh, okay. These are very different. And they have curved ones, too. Oh, and they have... Oh, my God. Okay, wait. Top left. BR. 2W inside BR. Bottom right. 2W. 2W. TL. 
TR. Top right? Oh, top right, bottom left, inside corner. Okay. These are very, like, the thick ones are very centered. I feel like that kind of confuses me. Yeah, this is, like, right or left. And this is, like... Although, honestly, it looks kind of fine on the picture. Uh, hmm. Uh, hmm, eh. Okay, let me get the thinner version. Because they have, like, the full one and the other one, too. It's a very different kind of color, so I guess it depends on what looks better uh, on on the path with our grass option. Yeah, the sorry I was lazy sign. Oh my god, please. The corners are confusing me too. Yes. Gonna get cozy and lurky now. Of course. A dark dirt line version like this code for a natural outdoor kind of island. Ooh. Oh wait, which ones did I get? <laughs> okay, let's do the corner pieces. <laughs> oh my god. Sometimes this is what happened to me with um city pathing too. City pathing literally breaks my brain. I guess I hadn't really considered whether I would want to do rounded corners or um like sharp edges. I hadn't really thought of that because I feel like, I mean, that would influence my choice here too. I haven't really thought about it. I haven't thought about this island enough, it seems, even though I, I feel like I've thought about it quite a lot, but you know, there's always more things to consider, I guess. Okay, I think I was missing left and right. Do I keep crocheting or do I do a color mask to my hair? Ooh, could you do a color mask? And as you wait, you can crochet again? Yeah, yeah, what Persephone said. I was going to say, I don't know how that works, though. Like, I don't know if that's possible. <laughs> yeah, hair and crochet while it sits. Yes, exactly. Thank you for the... For the uh, wellness check. I could never do a city core island. Yeah, the only the only city core I ever attempted was a um like a very overgrown one. So a lot of things were like broken. There were a lot of trees still everywhere. So there there was that really. Okay, let's kind of put these. I'm so confused by this path. I also need to favorite this one because I probably need to return to this depending on what it looks like. Um, uh, bottom and left. Or bottom top and re left right. We're going to get those pieces. And then I still need to get like the inner corners. And then we'll just see. The last thing I remember from coloring hair for my grandma is that it has to sit like three hours. Ooh. Okay, well then you could definitely go ahead and crochet. As long as I keep an eye on the time. Yeah, definitely set a timer. I think I'm going to test something on this island. I may not do any terraforming. Keep it flat without water. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I, I'm i interested to see if you'll need to maybe... Because of, like, viewing platforms. That's what I was thinking. If you have to maybe introduce, like, a couple of cliffs here and there for just, like, a viewing platform purpose. But yes. Yes. I wish I could just eat Mac and Leopold into the water for the villagers I want. They're so stubborn and won't leave. I do have amiibos, but as I said in previous streams, I need to find them first. Yeah. Yeah, villagers can be very upsetting. I think that's that's just the entire thing, like why I never I never really I never really uh, villager hunt anymore, because they just Yeah. Exactly, exactly. They're supposed to go on in-game pathing Ladoodle. So um that one just confused me a lot because they were like thick and thinner ones, but it's kind of supposed to be like a little chalk like outline of a street, but you just use it on the in-game pathing. I color my hair so every so often. Last month it was blonde. Right now it's bright right like Ariel. Oh my god. I've never I mean I get my hair like colored, I guess. I never do like fun things though. Like I never I just thought for a second my, my Pinterest froze and then I thought the music had stopped. I panicked. <laughs> um, I have never been like brave enough to do anything wild to my hair, I feel like.
but I always love to see other people. I feel like, especially something like blue or or green, like a dark blue or dark green, I'm always like, oh, wow, bam. I'm villager hunting right now. I've got, I have a love-hate relationship with it, yes. Oh, I did not, oh my God, I did not expect this. So basically the ones I saw were basically just this, the tree, tree full stop. <laughs> but they've got so many signs. That's interesting. Okay, some of these I feel like are too minimalistic. I kind of thought about something like this being um, the flak maybe. Maybe this or the white one, I'm not sure. But kind of cute. Oh my God, the codes are interesting so far. <laughs> I was excited Kevin left, but now that I'm, ha I'm having a hard time finding Olivia and then it's, yeah, yeah. You'll be able to see the path on your map. Yes. Yes. Maybe some waterscaping for bridges for views, but nothing. Oh, nothing grand. Yeah, that's a good idea, though. But yeah, I think, you know what? As much as I always want to say the map doesn't matter, I think I want... I always kind of want it to be cute. Like, a little bit, you know? And so, I think the... The path... Oh. The, the road showing up there will probably help that. Um, six, two, two, seven. Okay, this is a little bike rental sign. Um, that I think is cute. I think I used this before, maybe. Ooh. Oh, cute. Oh my god, I like this one too. Can you see that? Yeah, I like a little bit. I like this one too. Wow. Oh. Private beach. Okay, kind of slay. Oh, this one's nice too. But this one's kind of an alternative version of the tree flag that I just got. I shared a bit of my island there. You could also see my dirt roads. Oh yeah, I I have to check. I have to check. It's so fun. I've done every color in split dyes. I always do it myself starting when I was 12, going on 11 years doing that. Oh, <gasps> Sarah, what colors? What was the wildest combination? Or did you ever like do combinations of colors? What was the wildest thing you had? Oh, thank you, Zubrik. I'm glad. I'm glad you think that. Okay, I'll get the rental. I might return to this at some point if, like, I do specific shops or something. It is that time of the month? Oh, Paulina, I'm sorry. I once had a bluish green color, and after washing it a few times, it looks like mold. That's what I heard. Yeah, that's what I heard too, because I have kind of thought about it briefly before, but then that's exactly what I heard is the fact that washing it out is kind of not the not the best. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm kind of low-key obsessed, obsessed with all these, but they don't I don't know if they really fit the vibes, you know. Ooh, you posted that one too? Oh nice. Nice, nice, nice. On Tangerine, I completely ignored the map for the very first time, and that explains why it looks the way it looks. <laughs> what is the quickest way to get villager photos? Uh, just gift them stuff, I think. Gift them something and talk to them each day. I don't really actually know. Emily, enjoy your lurk, by the way. The wildest color I ever did was this combination of purple, red, and orange for Halloween. Oh my god. <gasps> That's awesome. What is the code for this creator? Usually you could see it, but the chat is blocking it. <laughs> there we go. There we go. The quickest way is to get it from a treasure island. True. My hair turned green, but I kind of liked it. Okay. When I still did crazy colors, I bought pastel blue, pastel yellow, and pastel pink and alternated strands with it. <gasps> Since it was pastel, it was very cotton candy. Ooh. That's very cute. Okay, I want to maybe try this one here. I also didn't know Cliff's Island with a similar theme, but more coastal. And I failed at making the map cute, but the version I'm drawing is slaying. Just in-game, not it. That's okay, though. I oh, wow. Okay. I feel like that is totally fine. And, you know, when you draw your map, you can make, like, very fun things with it. So that's that's something, uh, something at least, you know? Oh. <sighs> Oh my god, cute. 
I don't want to go overboard with like getting outfits though because I always forget to wear them anyways. So it's just always kind of Oh, this is cute. <laughs> this is so cute though. Okay, maybe I, I'll get this one. Oh, good luck, Pia. You got this. You got this. Do you uh do you use tre uh, time uh, not time travel? Do you use Treasure Islands by the way, Pia? Make me think of frog and toad. Wait, what is that? Oh my god. Sometimes Pinterest is so annoying. Um, yeah. And then honestly, I really don't have the most, um, the most coats down or like written down. I guess one thing I would want to get is like a basic dirt coat. So I kind of got this one, which is I think the most popular one. I don't even know what Animal Crossing would be without this this dirt code. Uh, Kyla also welcome on in. I think we should still get the ones with the green. Or maybe just the ones without anything. Maybe just the ones without anything. Of course. Okay, yeah. Yeah, same. Then I hope it's going to be like a very quick and smooth experience to get to three stars. I love this dirt path code. Yeah, the code. The code, truthfully. I just think like a good a good dirt path and then I think something else I might want to think about because I don't I don't know if there are any good ones that I like for this for this vibe are some stepping stones. Um those are those are always like a good idea, I think. The only thing not cooperating right now are cute villagers. I just wanted to ask, what are you what what villager are you on? How many do you already have? Uh-oh. Well, I hope... I don't know if you've already had your campsite visitor. Um, good luck. <laughs> Code shopping makes me want to play myself, but unfortunately only in theory, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of that you get excited to play and you get, like, hyped up. And then as soon as you start your Switch, it's kind of like... Huh. <laughs> yeah. Go to a treasure island, grab a bunch of monster statues... Place those on your island and boom, they give so many points. It's actually ridiculous. And they sell for a bunch of bells after. Wait, monster statues? Oh, the Godzilla kind of statues. Oh, okay. It'd be so fun to do an over the garden wall themed island. I have never seen it. Oh, wait, I just downloaded the same code twice. Um, I've never seen it. I've never seen it. But I think like a lot of Ghibli. Is it also like a Ghibli movie, I think? A lot of those would be very cute for Animal Crossing. For sure. I tried so hard to make a path thing. It was not for me. Same. I don't think I'll ever... I like the, the most that I've done before is make a fabric code on Encanto. That was, that was literally it. Okay, and then this one here, we could also get, I think, this little filler code. And we could get, like, the thinner ones, too, in case we need them. I found a code that would have been perfect, but the, the creator deleted it! No! No! Oh, okay, but the, the thin ones apparently only exist with the greens. That's okay. We might get them later. Oh, Cam said it was Henry! Okay, after that, my luck kind of ran out. I'm already on 140 tickets and only two cuties so far that fit the forest. A core and countryside vibe that I want to go for. Ah, oh, dang it. So Henry, like, took all of your inspo then. Mm. Oh, it's a book. Okay, got it. I kind of want to do split hair again. I don't know. Just, I just grew my hair back to healthy, but it looked so good with it. Maybe you just enjoy the healthy hair for a little bit, and then you can go back to to colors again. There is a link for the for the Discord. I mean, yes, it it popped up right underneath your message. But you can also do exclamation Discord if you want. Crafted and three by three is the extra points. Okay, I'm saving up for another switch so I can do an alphabet themed island. Ooh, wait, what what do you have in mind for an alphabet themed island? Okay, so these are the the pieces that could turn like your your path into like a diagonal one. I've never used this before, but I've seen it so many times 
that I kind of want to try. I just have absolutely no idea what I need to go for. I'm guessing the number is the month. I would probably need these here, right? The nine for September. Uh, Quirk, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Uh, you need eight villagers for three stars. Yeah, you need eight. So after, after the campsite one, you need to put down like two more plots, I think. You made a cute teddy dress that I wore for a while. Oh my god, wait, that's right. That was on, on Neverland, right? Oh, I forgot that one. Yeah, I made like a teddy dress and teddy sweater. True, true. Eight for three stars and all ten for five. Ooh, okay. Loading a dialogue in Animal Crossing makes me unmotivated to, unmotivated to play a lot of the time. Yeah, it can be very annoying. I've kind of realized that too, again, when when restarting. Like, to me, oftentimes, you know, the restarting is just kind of like... Just wanting to decorate, like, a new island. It's not really wanting to play through the first few, like, days and weeks of the, of the island. Even though it's fun. Um, but all the dialogue and having to, like... Having to get everything again from the nook stop and stuff it's so repetitive and so annoying okay this one is a very popular oh wait zero a very popular like spring core creator but i thought that apparently i saw something that i wanted to get it might have been like a a fabric coat maybe Um, a Perline dress now. <laughs> who is Perline? Oh my god, do you not know who Perline is? It's the Malene imp impersonator. Okay, can I tell the secret about the Discord person? Like the profile? I mean, I kind of feel like I already did know. I have a list of all the villager names and their species, like Alley, Alligator, and so on. Their and their houses will include their letters in pathing. Ooh, okay. Oh, it's not like T. But basically, Persephone is obviously a mod, and she's also a Discord mod. And so she made, like, a second profile uh, whose name is Perlene, which is, like, Persephone and Moline. And, um, and so sometimes Persef sorry, Perlene, uh, violates like discord guidelines just to test if like auto mod features work. And then we have like a mod chat where like, sometimes we do like bot stuff. And then it's just, it just sometimes says like timed out Perlene for spamming or something. It's, it's kind of funny. Oh, <sighs> yeah. Yeah, you, come on, Nintendo. You've seen me play this a thousand times. I wish there was like a fast forward option and just, just be like, you know, uh, skip to this part or that part. Oh, I remember. So I think I kind of wanted to get the planks maybe. And I think this one here, this fabric coat. Yeah, it's a rebellious love child. Oh my God, not the love child. <laughs> Uh, Ginger Snap also welcome on in. I yeah, I like like Persephone said, Pinterest is my place to go for um custom designs. Or a lot of times um Animal Crossing creators will also have a section in their Discord uh with design codes. We also do have that one, although it has not been quite as active recently because of just a lot of people, I guess, like losing losing interest when it comes to Animal Crossing, but Pinterest is is like the place to go. Yeah. Hey, also, crispy friend, welcome on in. Welcome to the chat and welcome to the stream. Am my third or fourth uh, reset on my second Switch now? My OG island would never be reset. Oh, nice. I got it the week after launch as we went into lockdown. I still have my OG lazy bow. Oh my god, cute. Yeah, it's not even that exciting. I know. I, I, I built it up. Y'all were expecting tea. There's not really tea. It's just like a make-believe person. Also, I feel like my camera is... I don't know, slightly different today. 
Makes sense because I tore my entire setup apart. So, yeah. Perlene arrested for Discord crimes. Yep. <laughs> Perlene would make a great mod. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know about that part. <laughs> Perlene was also the Moline in old giveaway posts. Oh my god, true. Oh my god, yes. So Persephone would host like giveaways on Discord. And then she would do like an entire setup of all the items. Um, she would do like a setup of all the items. And then she would dress up and pretend to be me to take pictures. You know? Oh, okay. Um... Just just FYI, I'm not going to name names, but um Oh yeah, maybe she's. Uh just just FYI, don't DM my mods just for like general chat participation. You can DM them if you've got like a specific question or like an an issue or something. Um but but not for like just random messages, okay? I found a good few codes on TikTok. Ooh. Ooh, I also do have a... Actually, why did I not... <laughs> Excuse me, can you ask me the question again of where I find where I find cute codes? <laughs> no, basically, I was just going to say, um, I actually have a website uh, also where like I post all the codes that I use on any of my islands. So if you see me use any code, not today, because that's not quite on there. Um, but if you see any of my islands and any codes there that you like, then they are probably going to be on my website. So that also exists. That also exists. Yeah. Earlier, I think earlier on, a few more people did that, but I think now not so much anymore. I started a Discord to teach people how to make their codes. Oh, so you're like, you're like a, you're like basically a pro. Have you done like full on pathings? Because Pinterest is my go to for everything. It's basically a live line at this point. Yep. Yep. I think Perlene came about after praying for Persephone dressed up as Moline's in-game character on stream. I think so. I think so. I actually have a picture, um, I think, of Persephone, me, and Perlene, which was... <laughs> that is... It's such a trippy picture. Thank you, Zubrik. So everything's fake? Yep. Yep. <laughs> Malineception. Um, Sequoia, thank you so much for the brand new tier one sub. Thank you. I hope you enjoy the emotes and the badge. Thank you so much for the support. A family picture. Sorry. Yeah, family picture. <laughs> oh, thank you, Zubarik. I'm glad you like it. I did that a lot when I still had Twitter, but uh, now that I don't have it anymore, I don't find many codes anymore. Yeah. Yeah, Twitter was actually kind of good for that, too. That's right. But also just every time you would go on Twitter, you'd find like new things. And then now I think. Um, yeah, people are just are not posting much anymore. Does everyone find getting through the DLC to be such a chore? Yes, Laura and I still have to do it. I don't even want to think about it. The first time was fun, but now it's a chore. Absolutely. I'm glad you like them, Sequoia. I'm glad you like them. Alrighty, I think I've already basically gone through the stuff that I wanted to look at. Oh my god, there's so many codes in the Discord. <laughs> the, co the codes that I kind of had saved for uh, on my Pinterest. Actually, you know what? Maybe before we check those, we check the ones that I've downloaded to choose and already kind of sort through maybe... I have a bunch of tutorials on making the path, a brick path, rainbow brick, metal tiles, fence puddles, and working on a glass one for windows right now. Nice. Nice. Uh, we're code shopping right now, a crispy friend. So basically, I'm just downloading a whole bunch of codes that I think might be cute. Oh my god, what am I... Why am I... Why am I clicking? Why am I clicking weird stuff? Focus. Uh, and now I will try to test them out. I guess. Is there a trick to getting through the DLC as soon as possible? Um, basically just unwrapping the three items that they have. 
and calling it a day. Yeah. Or you can do just like three by three grids. That's true. But you can literally just get the three items that they that they have or sometimes just two, I think. Unpack it, leave it exactly where it is and then just just go. Yeah. Mm. Oh, Holly, I'm glad to hear that. And I hope that your studying goes well also. <gasps> OK. Oh, interesting. Interesting. I don't think I want to do like a center line. Do I? What are the what are the pictures? Huh. I guess I hadn't. Hmm. A friend house asked how I got my codes to match so well, and I told them about how you do this live on Island Mood Boards with all the codes. Yeah, right. Actually, I I don't know why. I kind of are I've I've kind of always done this, I guess. Um, because there was just no way that the codes kind of fit together, just just hoping for it, I guess. Oh, I see. Yeah, because the thin ones are super close to the to the edge. A edge. And I don't think I'm going to do a middle line. So I guess the question is, if I do this one here, I do kind of like it because it's not so like super white. Does that seem too small? Of a road. It, kind of, it does kind of seem small, doesn't it? Hmm. So do I like the ones that are closer to the edge? Let's also kind of do a, a corner piece also. I said also twice, I think. <laughs> I'm the only one playing Animal Crossing among my friends. It's lonely sometimes, even if you're proud of something, they don't care. So it's nice to see a new island with a new idea like that. Good luck for finding your dreamy uh, dreamy codes. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, I think that's kind of why like I share I share stuff like online as well. It's just because it's a nice it's a nice place to kind of share um yeah, being passionate about something. I like the closer to the edge one. It looks a bit cozier, too. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's also almost seven. So I guess, like, usually the timing I would want to be... I'd want to be, like, a little bit earlier. All right. Looks a bit cozier. Okay, do we prefer the very white one or the not-so-white one? I think I prefer the not so white one also because it kind of has a bit more a bit more like different colors and therefore like the details going on closer to the edge as well. But both look good. Not so white, not so white, not so white looks less fake. Yeah, true. And then the thin one because it's closer. I think kind of same. So it'd, it'd be like this, right? Oh, wait, I need to do I need to do three tiles, I think. Yeah, the less white is nice. The regular white is giving baseball diamond vibes for some reason. Oh, yeah. Not so white. Yeah. Okay. So pretty much everyone agrees, I think. Good. That's a good first step. <laughs> um, I guess, yeah. Next question. Do we go with sharp corners or rounded corners? The option is there for both, to be fair. Yeah, but that's kind of cute. The codes that I found are actually gorgeous. Very excited for this island, Chrissy. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, this needs to be like an inner corner. God. Yeah, sometimes figuring out like new path things. Uh, confusing. I think somewhat like this, and then this here too, and then the others need to be corners, right? And then we could check if there were any like middle tiles. I think they had like a like a crosswalk too. Um and then they have obviously like the thicker lines, which could be like placed here if we want that. 
I don't know if we want that. <laughs> Time of day may affect the shade and tone of these coats in partic particular too. Yep, yep, I think you're right with that. Especially because the earlier at 6 a.m. it actually is... Oh wait, this was the wrong code. Um, it actually is very, um, uh, very much darker, you know? The, it's not quite as clear, so that would probably... Nice. I got the way it fits though. The corner pieces of roads always make me realize if it's, if it's too narrow or not. Yeah, true. Yeah. I guess it kind of depends. You know, we could just go with this. We could also add... We could also add some, um, some of these middle lines. But we also don't have to. We could alternate it here and there. I kind of feel like, honestly, the diagonal piece that we have is not the right shade, though. Okay, but so that also means we're pretty much going to get rid of all this up here. Because I do, I like the not-so-white one a lot more, too. Um. Aw, Vanessa, I'm so glad. Aw. I'm, I'm glad that we were able to help you out. I don't think that's too narrow, like you were saying. Yeah, like I was initially worried about the how thin the the, the lines were, right? I think it kind of once you put it together, it kind of works. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Chair. I love that you're calling it for Stephanie's hair. <laughs> Thank you. I still need to find a cute hat, though. I, d I definitely want to keep this hairstyle, I think, but I feel like I still need to find a cute hairstyle. Uh, hat. Hat, hat, hat. Swap spots. I think this will be somewhat our main code going forward, maybe. So I'll put that up here. And maybe with the center, potential center lines right next to it. And then you, I also delete. And then these corner kind of go next to the official one. We have like, that's always upsetting. Like the middle thing is always empty. I kind of hate that. I don't hate that. The newspaper hat. Aww. The newspaper hat is cute. I had another one that I thought about the other day. But I mean like a general, a general like baseball hat or something. Oh wait, may, actually maybe it's right. More or less. More or less. Okay, so how do I test this? Um, I don't actually... Thinking about it now, I don't actually know how this works. I think like this, right? People round it. I've seen people round it. Ooh, if you're planning on using a transparent tile, you could do that in the center. Oh, smart, Kiara. Yes, I will do that. I don't have a slingshot, I think. Yeah, it's a bit more for like mid December, uh, September, which you know what? I think we could probably also get away with that. With your hair color and Persephone's haircut, this is how I imagine Perline. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, maybe like here and there, some middle lines to spice it up. Yes. Maybe I should get my IRL hair like this? Yes. Ooh, big slay. You could do the center lines around resin services, nooks, cranny, and ables. Oh, so like for more uh like official official areas. I like that too. Yeah, we could we could slightly do it like a bit differently depending on whether it's Oh. I see. Okay, wait. This is the one where I always get my brain in a twist. That's how you use it, right? I think this is how you use it. And then that one is this. Oh god, my brain hurts. I think. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's how it works, I think. <laughs> Center for flag could also work, but you can actually delete the flag again, so that would be a code that we can save. A code tile. I've uh 
I have to overthink my lines. I really like the color of the one that you found more than mine. Mine is also very white. It was bothering me, but I hadn't found something better. Oh yeah, you could use this one too if you like this one, Kata. Also, Sundry, welcome on in. Uh, I will keep it like I will keep it a flat island with no um, with no cliffs. Yes, if that's what you mean. Uh, welcome back, Holly. I was in emote only mode, so I had to refresh. Got it. I cannot with the diagonal path with the in-game one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Same. I'm still in house study mode, but I'm so ready to chill for the rest of the day. I can't wait for tomorrow when the exam is finally over. That'll be so good. Have you already planned something that you want to do um, once you've done that? Okay, middle code as diagonal, I think, is a very good idea. So I need to change this. Um, fill all transparent. Actually, I should actually name it, shouldn't I? I'll just, I'll just do transparent. Or I could say like, I could name it NTLB for no tile left behind, because this is kind of the way that we're still going to leave some tile behind, but it's just going to look like we, we haven't, you know? Oh, thank you, Clara, for hanging out. I, I appreciate you. Ooh, that actually looks kind of nice there, too. It kind of looks like it's meant to be. I didn't know you could delete the flat code. Yeah, you can delete. Okay, let me think. You can delete the flat code. You can also delete, like, face paint. If you... But then if you obviously... Like, if you've got it on, you can delete it and then stay. it'll stay on your face. But then obviously, if you take it off, then you can't get it back. And... um. There was one more. Oh, your phone, I think. You can you can customize your phone case. That one you can also delete. I want to read you my island, get some ideas. Ooh, I hope you can and have fun. If you do the diagonal path one tile higher, will it actually meet with the corner piece nicely? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I, I don't know. Here? Ooh, I don't think so, right? That would be... No, nope, that would be... This? Eh. Eh. Ah, Persephone. The wrong island name. <laughs> but it, it, at least it shows up now, you know? Oh, that's why people make it rounded. Is because it shows up much much less okay that makes sense i'll meet a friend that i haven't seen in a few weeks even order food and just catch up nice of course playing some animal crossing i haven't had the time because of studying and my internship but i really want to work on my new island yes and um holly we're on kefian there is a command that kind of explains a lot of stuff about it yeah Mm. I recommend putting a little colored square in the middle of the transparent tile while decorating so you see where you put one. <gasps> That's the big brain stuff happening. Okay. Yes. Actually, that is so smart. Yes, I will do that right away. I'm trying to decide if I want to do a foresty island or a pink and black island or a Game of Thrones style island. Oh my god, such different... Such different ideas. Um, I like forest. I probably would say no pink or black because, or pink and black because pink is not my favorite color. But I guess that depends. If you if you wanna, if you like pink, then that might be kind of something nice. Game of Thrones seems like very out there. Like out there in terms of seems complicated, but could be a really fun challenge. Yeah, inform the chat later so we can come visit. True. Woodboard days always inspire me to push to finish so that I can restart. Same thing for me, too. That's like, it's actually kind of dangerous for me to get inspired for like a new island and to look for like ideas, etc. Because then I just want to restart like right away. Okay. I was thinking one of these things. We should time travel, right? Because this is not really correct anymore. <laughs> oh 
My new island has so much pink in it. I'm already sorry for your eyes. No, it's okay. You're totally fine. Hello. Okay, but you know. I think I think it kind of works. We just have to decide on a tree, but I kind of like the two two trees next to each other. I don't know about this code. I think this is a little out there. It is a little out there. Okay, these are just some small wheat, so I can get rid of this. You let an island go a few months ago and I gave some inspo, the mint one. Yes. Hello. I thought it'd be cool to do like a seafoam swampy kind of one. Oh, yes. Yeah, sorbet. Sorbet, rest in, rest in power. Um, Sorbet was supposed to be a mint, an orange, and yellow kid core. I still have every intention of building it. That's... I should probably start with that, but to be fair, it is being put on hold right now a little bit. Yeah. Uh, Damien and Harmley, thank you for those follows. Welcome on in. Um... Oh, um, Holly, for, for island ideas, like for area ideas, I generally kind of recommend... Um, like YouTube or or Pinterest or or Google because oftentimes that can kind of inspire you. We don't really know where your island looks like, so we usually can't help you too much with it. Yeah. A Westeros Game of Thrones and Chorus Chorus Chorusant pink and black. Oh, I don't know what that is. Why can mods use block terms? Cuz you have power, you know. I used to have a forever island, but it ended up not really working for me as a concept as much as I thought it would, and so I actually ended up deleting it. Your Encanto River build inspired the color scheme of pink and yellow. Well, I guess I've got no one to blame but myself then, right? <laughs> oh, I have a new I an idea for a new island. I'm super excited about it, but I need to finish the current one. Yeah, and that's like honestly one of the worst things that can happen. I hope that you can finish the one that you're currently working on and then work on all the new ideas that you got. Okay, let's go to like maybe a couple of days forward and then to 6 a.m. again. And let's get some trees to to grow. Sorbet. <laughs> Bumby's so sad. Sorbet will be great one day. Yes, yes. Also, Fia, welcome back. Does the nine tile dirt path look different on in-game pathing? Uh, it doesn't on the light one, I think, like the light in-game dirt, but the dark one. The dark in-game dirt always kind of changes every code. It makes it like a little bit darker, I think. Yeah. I'm so in love with that CC code. That is the accessible sidewalk piece with the bums. I saw that on your sorbet mood board. Yeah, the different colors too. Oh, that was amazing. Like, I really, I really, oh wow, it's so dark. I really do want to get, get back to that one, for sure. We're just going to plant, like, a few trees just for the color, you know? I can hunt in peace now, let's go. How do you get the custom design portal app on your phone? Uh, so basically, I think you need to go into Able Sisters and interact with the portal once, and then you can go back to like resident services and you can purchase it from the Nook Stop. Oh, it's a Star Wars planet. Got it, Sarah, got it. Map is done, Schmikey, let's go. You don't have to apologize for that. Okay, yeah, I'm not vibing with this here. But I think everything else, I'm going to probably go with this. We're going to check again when um, the time is right. But apart from that, I like everything so far. <sighs> I'd never be able to pronounce it if they didn't say it in the movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh, wait, I already changed the time. Let's go and time travel quickly. I've looked at all three of my islands today, the ones that I want to finish, so I can just do one. And I love them all for different reasons, but I don't play them. I get that. That's me. That's me with current islands and also with new island ideas. Like, sometimes it happens when I've got an island idea and I get really hyped up for it. But then, um, once I start, 
working on it, like once I actually sit down and I want to start working and decorating uh, that island, I'm just, I lose all motivation and inspiration. Like that also happens to me. And did you finish your beachy island? Not yet. Not yet. It's, uh, that's Callan. But that one is this, still a work in, um, work in progress. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is definitely a different vibe. Your rep looks so cute with the hair in the back. Thank you. Thank you. Trees are for flag. Yes. I think trees are for flag. I don't know if I'd like it on anything else. Maybe like if I have a a retro transportation stop or anything where there's like a picture. I feel like I could I could see the trees also. Um but that one is specifically for the flag, I think. Coats are coming along. I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. There's a few more to check. I've I've already kind of checked the ones I had, but there's a bunch in Discord. Do any of you guys like Taylor Swift? I feel like wherever you go at the minute, there will always be people who like Taylor Swift. I like her enough. I'm not a Swifty though, but yes, there are people. There are people here for sure. Okay, trees bounty bounty little. I don't know what it was. But I think it's a little thing that you put on like a table. That one's very cute. Are we sure Mercury is not in retrograde this week? It's been a mess for me, but I had a good cry just now and I'm glad to enjoy the cozy vibes. Oh no, Coco, I hope you're okay. Oh, I feel that so much though. I we were watching Grey's Anatomy the other day, and I just I just could not like I was just shaking and crying like uncontrollably. And I was, I was just like, I think, I think I'll be on my period soon. <laughs> Cause like the amount of crying that I did just felt, I cry a lot, don't get me wrong. But the, the amount of crying that I did just felt like a tad too much for it to just be the normal amount, you know? So I feel that. Okay. Yeah. So the, tr I think, I think middle of September, but that's nice because look at the codes already matching a whole bunch more. I think middle of September will be very nice because the trees will get like a little bit lighter, which is, which is awesome. But this is good, right? This is a good mixture already. I was thinking this was a weed, okay. Thinking and fantasizing on an island is so much more fun than actually building it. Oh yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> I like the idea. It kind of fits the minimal vibes. Yes. I, it's kind of wild to see. Like, I feel like the... I deleted it now. But I feel like the lines glow so much more now with this lighting. So I think the white ones from before would have been much, much worse. Like, worse, obviously. But, you know. Want to absolutely stress yourself out? Watch Grey's Anatomy. Want to laugh? Watch Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> yeah. 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 I love how we all just cry a lot. It feels good to know that I'm not the only one. Oh, you're definitely not. You're definitely not. Yeah. We we are we are a bunch of criers. Grey's has no chill that she'll be breaking your heart left and right. Yep. I've been watching your old Meliora vods on YouTube and I think it stops after the yellow area. Did you end up doing the rest of the colors off stream? Oh, did I? Actually, I might have done some stuff. Off. Yeah, that island was tough. Also, to be fair, that island. Oh, timeline. I think so. I think some of the stuff I did off stream because I took like about six months off of streaming. So I decorated a whole bunch like off stream. I think the middle part, I did a video. I did like a video for that one, but that island kind of frustrated me a whole bunch. So I, yeah, yeah. I recently read a book called A Thousand Boy Kisses. I was ugly crying for the entirety of it. Yeah. I started my period three days later. I was like, ah, hmm. The devil's horns. Okay. Uh, explanation for those. Actually, I was, I thought they were cute, but Persephone redeemed fashionista. And then this was her choice. These work so nicely though, with the hair, not going to lie. Really kind of like it. Uh, season five of Grace. Yeah. We're somewhere in the middle 
I think. This already looks like a finished island. Uh, to be fair, to be fair, this is kind of the vibe that I want. You know, the very simple, you know, simple kind of empty tiles. If you want to see boobs and booties every two seconds, watch Shameless. Oh, no matter how many times I've watched Grey's, I'll always cry. Always cry. It, I'm currently re-watching. I've actually watched it before. But to be honest, y'all, I don't remember so much of it. So, um... So much of it is just feels new to me. And so I just, I just ugly cry the entire time. This chair and table look like there could be some body latching underneath. They have like some, some slippers for, oh, flip-flops? I don't know. Adi Litten. Grace has broken me more times than I care to admit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The great emote is such an intruder most of the time. What do you mean? Do you are you saying it does not fit the vibes perfectly? <laughs> I've rewatched season one to eleven so many times. Would you say that after eleven it kind of gets worse? Because we talked about this the other day. Be careful with the spoilers because Kat hasn't seen all of it just yet. Um, but I think some people were saying that after season, f oh, where's the message in a bottle? Uh, after oh. Hey, Patty. After season 14, it gets it gets bad, but yeah. I got a stain on my fave outfit. What do you do when things are just the worst? Well, this is what I do. Aww. So cute, though. Season 1 to 14 is what I usually do when I rewatch. Oh, it, I think that's actually what I've seen. So it seems like I, I just accidentally stopped watching at a perfect time, really. 10 to 15 is, yeah, season, season 10 and 11 is the end of the good times. 10 to 15 is okay, but not the best. Okay. I think it does. It's definitely like a loop of the same storylines. Oh. Have you guys seen the rumors of the Animal Crossing leaks? Yeah. Yeah, we talked about it just briefly at the start of the stream. I don't know if it's true. And to be fair, if it is, I'm not the biggest fan. But yeah. Do you think there's an end, though? <laughs> Good question. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I would assume so, but at this point, we can't be sure, right? Of all the medical kind of dramas, I, th I still think ER is one of the best ever in history. I think, like, I don't know, Grey's Anatomy does something really well with, like, playing with your emotions, for sure. The reaction fits perfectly with the horns. Oh my god, true. The COVID season and on are so bad. Yeah. Yeah, we we said that the other time also. Okay. S 1 to 14 and then it has a completely different vibe? Ah. Oh. Season 20 started Thursday and I did not like the episode at all. Okay. They are so good. I'm not really a Grace fan, to be honest. That's totally fine. The devil's horns sit perfectly on the hair. I hate when the hat thingies don't do that. True. Yeah, the little the little band thing when that shows up, it's just it doesn't quite feel the same, you know? Uh, usually I try to have VODs up like the next day, sometimes like two days after it aired. So it should be up like either Monday or Tuesday, I think. I love watching Rain. Oh, Rain had a terrible ending, though. And to be honest, oh, what was the name of the dude that she was with? I always liked his brother more, the dark-haired one. I always liked him more, and so, yeah. <laughs> my fave is house. My fave is house. MD. My sister loved House, and I watched it too. I think I watched all of it, but it wasn't my favorite favorite. Did everyone see Grace TikTok the other day about hitting season twenty? I didn't know, but season twenty is wild. I haven't seen the first one of season 20. I'm in the UK and I think it takes a while longer before it's released here. Oh my god, Germany, it usually takes about like a year until they come on like television, which kind of sucks. Okay, I'm going to go into the Discord for some more codes because I think Bambi and Persephone have been posting like a ton. Okay, 
ER was just ahead of its time as one of the most intense season finales of any on-air TV show. Oh, yeah, Bash, right? Yes, yes. And then I didn't like, like, later on, I don't know how far along you are, Sarah, so I don't want to spoil anything, but, like, later later on, I love the start of it. I love the idea of the show, but I just started getting not so great. All right, so there is a road code, which I think is cute, but I might... I might want to do the in-game one. Ooh, there's, like, gutter codes, though, which is nice. Dis season 20 is on Disney in the UK end of March. Oh. Mm-hmm. Artful Dodger. I feel like I've heard about it, but I haven't seen it, no. 7-4. Okay, let's look at it. I think they might have more stuff, too. They seem like a talented uh, code creator. Ooh, 69.96. Nice. Nice. I've watched Rain about four or five times. Okay, so I don't like how the friend group, like, gets destroyed. And, like, how they all, like, just cheat and lie. And, uh, I don't know, it just... <gasps> wow. Uh, I don't know. The question is, I guess, like, how city do we want to go, you know? God, these are really good ones, though. Is this the one that I maybe used on Verdant? I don't know. It might be. Such art. Such realistic codes. Yeah. I love that creator. Same. Same. I kind of... Oh, and these two. I kind of don't know what I want, to be fair. Must have taken ages. Yep. A full tile drain thingy could work. Yeah, I just thought maybe even on... So there's this one here. Or I guess... There's like something like this. Mm, do we think that could work if I put down a tile of game path? In game path and then put that on top of it? Or like this one here? Do we think that could work? I feel like I maybe want to get the newspaper just because. Uh, Grey's Anatomy recently took the record for longest on-air medical show. Next would be ER. Oh, so very comparable. Okay. Just different times. Yeah. Every time I want to go start Grey's again, I get sucked back into watching Gilmore Girls and Friends. Yeah. I will rewatch like... Friends, Modern Family, and Brooklyn Nine-Nine are kind of my rewatch shows. Scrubs and Grey started around the same time, and JD and Scrubs quips, it's like they made a show about our lives. It's great. Of course, Scrubs didn't last. Yeah. I would have loved to see them flourish and grow together. Yeah. One of the ones in the friend group in Rain uh, was my favorite character in a kid's show. Uh, wasn't she also, I don't know if that's the one you mean, but the one of the actresses was in Narnia? I kind of feel like I need a stop sign, but I don't, I don't know why. Would kind of be nice. I don't know if this is the one, though, or like, I don't know, this is more like a no entrance, you know? Yeah, I get that, Holly. The real looking grass blows my mind. Yep. I don't know what drain to get. <laughs> These are problems. Okay, I mean, wait, actually, wait, 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 wait. Does this have a see through pixel? That doesn't even adjust to in game pathing. Oh, I don't know if this will work. I feel like they they have like a different code here. Oh, Persephone, no typing. I can't keep up. <laughs> In the picture, there's this one th that doesn't even exist here. I think they got rid of it. She's not the same one. I looked her up and the one I'm talking about is called Kenna and Rain. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's not her, I think. 
Oh, I don't know. I rewatch shows are Friends, Gilmer Girls, and The Big Bang Theory. Oh, interesting. I'm currently obsessed with Shameless, though. <laughs> Anna Popple Will was in Rain and Narnia. Oh, okay, okay. But so then Kenna was probably someone else. Uh, can you watch Twitch on the app on Chrome? I think so. I think so. Usually, like, the app is more... is more comfy. But I think you should be able to watch it on Chrome, yeah. Nice, Jerry. Let's go. Okay, I don't... I'm gonna... I have to leave. I feel like this creator is too much for my brain. Oh, I like this one. This is, like, a little dirt path, like... Like, little track codes. That might be nice for like a, ooh, for a tractor it might be too small, but for like a, um, oh, what's it called? Not a garden wagon, but like a, a hand cart. That might be nice for like a hand cart. I also thought about signs, but English writing or lettering is somehow not matching the theme. Yeah, English or then like Japanese and stuff all seems kind of, kind of off. Very true. They got them in all the different directions. Maybe I'll just go and get like one. So we'll check it. Kenna is played by uh, Caitlin Stacy. Okay. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'll just get like one and try it. Yeah. Do we think there would be like cute signs with actual like German on them? I have really never looked in, like, the German Animal Crossing community for codes. I don't even know where I would begin to look. I mean, I guess you could just start by... Wow. You could just start by typing the the names in, in English. That would probably work. I have no idea. I can check, too. I can check, too. I didn't mean to put you to work. <laughs> Ooh, newspaper code. We can test newspaper codes against each other. Yes. Five, seven, two, nine. Two, nine, two, seven. Uh, ooh, Rain is about Mary Queen of Scots and Elizabeth the First. <gasps> this is cute. This is. I think I've seen this creator before too. Is this K cat K cat K? Ah, uh, I feel like there's two K's. They got like an entire website with their codes. They have like many more. Oh, cute. Cute, 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 cute. Kind of like these here too, the filler ones. I think I need to be careful with like filler codes though because they can very quickly be too... Oh, this has a see-through tile. Um, Crystal Cat, Cosmic Kate. Crystal Cat. Crystal Cat, I think it is. Someone was looking for vertical flowery planks. <gasps> oh yeah, oh, well these are maybe very light colored, but yes. I googled Animal Crossing German signs. I got a photos of yield signs with different animals on them in Germany. <laughs> oh my god. Um, oh yeah, these I think folded newspaper? Left and right. Oh! Like to put... Oh my god, and look at these paintings. I like this too. Layered blanket. Oh. <gasps> this we had on sorbet. Mm-hmm. Ooh, a puddle code would probably make sense also. I want to try this one here, maybe. I was looking for a flower. Oh, there we go. There we go. Nice. 90% of the codes on my island right now, she had like five or six code sets. Yeah, like on every single island I think that she makes, she makes like new codes and they slap every time. Every time. It, it, I don't understand. I, I, I absolutely have no idea. She has a more muted set that you'd like to. Oh, a what? A, like a, a code set you mean probably, right? Code set, yeah. 
Very cute, though. Very cute. Did I do that correctly, by the way? Left and right. Yes, okay. Um, I want to do this. Do I get both newspaper things? I was looking for my phone while watching your stream on my phone. Ooh, been there, done that. <laughs> also, Harmly, welcome to the chat. I just started Animal Crossing looking for some inspiration. Let's go. I hope uh, these codes hopefully help. I don't know if you've got Nintendo Online. But if you do, you can download custom designs. And they, they really change. They really change the game, to be fair. Okay. Blankets. Blankets downloaded. Newspaper downloaded. I'm going to get this one too. I'm not going to use everything, I think, but just to test it. Although these might be a little bit too cool tone for me. Yeah, exactly. So these are designs other people have made and then they can upload them with like a little code. And if you download that code or if you type in that code, you can find their designs and then download it. Yeah. <gasps> oh. oh, cute. Oh my god, wow, look at this. Look at this plant one, too. Oh, cute. How do you organize? I just place and then leave the rest so they don't know how to work them. Uh, you can reorganize them if I, th I think you press Y. If you're in the app, you can re um, reorganize them. And then also when you download them, you can... <laughs> I, I'm sorry, <laughs> that face. I, I, I set the alerts. You think I'd know my own alerts, right? This is the second time today that I've like been super confused. Um, and I feel like it happens every time you raid over here. Emmy, thank you for the raid. Welcome on in everyone. Um, we are currently code shopping, so a lot of the screen right now is pink, um, but we're we're looking for codes for my German countryside inspired island. Welcome one and everyone. My name is Maline, or you can also call me Sparksby. I use she, her pronouns, and I love Animal Crossing. And that's kind of a lot of the things you need to know about me. I like coffee. I like plants. I like tattoos. And I, I'm not good at introducing myself, but welcome on in. Emmy, how was your stream? What were you working on today? Did you have fun? I bet that you did. Um, and as usual, please remember to take care of yourself after your stream. Thank you so much for hopping in here, though. Also, um, Strawberry Short K, Emmy, of course. Felix, welcome on in. Thank you so much for joining that raid. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well today. Oh, nice. Congrats, Akio. Congrats on finding Olivia. Hello, everyone. Apparently, Germans don't make signs, which is completely a uh, complete lie, considering what it looks like here. True, true. Okay, I'm trying to find codes for, I guess, if you want to, if you want to uh, describe it more in a general kind of Animal Crossing terms, I want to create more of a simple island. Uh, we are going to be placing it in September uh, at 6 a.m., so very chill vibes. We're going to leave some tiles behind, so we're going to leave some some tiles like open, and uh, we're going to use like in-game dirt path and what else? What else? Very like neutral color scheme, I would say. I love code shopping. We made a little pear and orange orchard on the spring for island today. We're oh my god, wait, we're like one to two builds away from finishing the island. And decorating my home. Okay, okay. But some filler areas and then you're done? Emmy. I'm excited to see that one. I will either... I mean, I've obviously, I've seen parts of it because of your streams. But I feel like, you know, touring the finished version is always super fun. I will probably... i would probably do that for myself. But I'm excited to see. That's so cool. Thank you, Kay. I am. I am. My voice is leaving me. I've been live for like four hours at this point, so I guess that makes sense. I don't know what to do about filler codes. I feel like I'm hesitant on, on filler codes, to be fair. Ooh, filler, dirt path, newspaper. Ooh, more newspapers. All I found was a German shepherd code. <laughs> Oh my god. 
Uh, 16720216. Okay. Um, having to pack now to go home. Of course, no worries. Yeah, no worries, Holly. Thanks for hanging out. Ooh, we got these leaves. Fluffy grass. Okay, this is actually kind of cute. Ah, newspaper donut, seats, and plain. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, don't feed the pigeon. Oh, that's so sad. Do not feed birds. <laughs> do I get a snack or do I not need one? Uh, get a snack. I don't I don't understand the question. Oh wait, there's also a newspaper. Oh my god. Ooh. Wait, this looks kind of cool. Not for this island. I think that might be a little too much, but that looks cool. I adore the 6 a.m. September vibes. I always wanted to make um, make an island with this vibe. Same, same. I think I've only ever done... Do I want cardboard? I don't know. Um, I think I've only ever done 7 a.m. But I think for this one, like the 6 a.m. vibes would be pretty much perfect. Thank you, Holly. Uncowed. Yeah, true. Like wild growing. I'm, I'm not sure how exactly it works. Kind of feels like this is almost like a circle. I don't know how it works fully, but. Cardboard, I kind of have to think about. Uh, newspaper with a ribbon, not really. Newspaper plain. What is the difference with this one to the other one? I'm wondering. Oh, the other one seems more gray, I think. We need cardboard boxes for Wertstoffhof. <laughs> area <laughs> true <laughs> true oh you're right this one is cute i didn't even see this what did the other one that i saved have oh some leaves okay no i like this too yes 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 um okay cardboard boxes let's try these two then I've done 6 a.m., but in mid-October, which was also pretty nice. I'm very excited for Kefian. Thank you. Yeah, mid-October is also nice because it's that's the time I think that I had sycamore, right? So like some of the trees are still green. Some of the trees are starting to, starting to turn yellow, right? Yeah. I posted that one again because of the green drain. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, yeah, there's the trees. Pigeon? Excuse me. We're not making a trash city. <laughs> I guess there's the kind of, there's definitely pigeons. There's a lot of pigeons, but, but, you know. Mm. Ooh. Filler codes, mice, branches, blankets. Maybe we can try this one too. I think this is also crystal cat. Uh, fearless will take me a while because I'm struggling so hard to figure out the pathing. Path That's okay. Take your time. Not every island needs to be done within like a few days, Chrissy. You're okay to take your time. Also, who knows? Stardew might suck you in and you might just not have time for it anyways, so... You know? Countryside pigeons are extra thick and hooty. <gasps> wow! Oh yeah, I definitely know this code. I didn't know they did this in um in a fall version. Excuse me. Can we talk about how pretty that looks? Oh, Hobbsy, welcome back. I hope uh I hope you're okay now. Malene ignores the codes we were considering but finds others instead. That's not true. I'm looking at your codes. I'm just overwhelmed and I don't know what filler codes I need, you know? Oh, Cat friend. Oh, Cat friend Tina, Juna, Clem, and Tiny. Oh, that's so cute. 
The design talent that Crystal Cat has is wild. Yep. This was the natural set that I was thinking of. So cute. So cute. I think I'd like to have some stepping stones, but maybe like darker than these. I did like the ones that Chrissy used on her island. Um, I don't know which one that was. Vanilla, I think. Going slow is not an option for me and you know it. Yeah. I'm not going to use these. They're really cute. I, I really think they're super cute. But from my experience, I can say that I'm not going to use the cats. Like every time there's these like animals like that. Um, I just, I never use them, you know? As souvenir chocolates are the DLC, I think. And you can find those in the DLC. I love the vibes of the codes already. Thank you, Kiara. I mean, I didn't make any of them, but you know. Chrissy's dirt path with the planks idea. Yeah. Yeah, no, but that too. The stones was what I was talking about, but the planks were really cute. I just, I just, I just don't, I just don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. Green drain, green drain. These are one from just now on stream. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thanks, Chrissy. Oh, wait, how do they work? How do they work? They seem almost like complicated to use. Oh. Listen, I love. Oh, wow. Uh, hello. I love code shopping. I'm not going to lie, though. It kind of overwhelms me every time because I'm not good at making decisions. You know, I'm not I'm not good at making decisions. And so I have to kind of make decisions first to, to, to think about which ones I even want to look at. And then I have to make further decisions about which ones I like and which ones I don't like. What do you mean? What, what, what do you mean? Oh, yeah, th I think those are cute. I think those are wow oh my god <laughs> that's so many codes is caffeine going to be a general german countryside or do you have a specific region in mind i'm kind of getting north german vibes for some reason a lot of people have said that i think because of like the flat island um so well i grew up like pretty much in the center of germany we do have quite a few hills to be fair I just, honestly, the reason why I'm doing no hills is, or no terraforming is because I can't be bothered. I don't want to think about, like, landscaping, you know? <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess maybe some, like, northern parts because I partially got inspired by, like, train rides to my, to my sister. Yeah, so maybe a little bit. I love that first pathing code. I really want to eventually use it somewhere. Oh, from this creator. This one here. Wait, is this a path? No. Lawn. Wooden bridge. <gasps> wow. The cobblestones are nice. I don't think I used them as intended. I just put them down. No, it works though, which is good. I use the flowery path as an inverted pathing on my spring metalcore island. Oh, <gasps> nice. Oh, I think I remember, yeah. Oh, Noah, thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you so much. I hope you have a lovely time. It's my staple wooden deck and bridge code, and I love it. It's cute. Again, not for this island, but very cute. You can add and delete codes at any time. Yeah, but... <laughs> I use so many of their codes, which makes sense. For I think for town, this is... This is like a creator that you should be aware of, to be fair. Okay. I think maybe we'll test these. Oh, why has the timing changed so much again? I think we'll test these and... um, And then kind of maybe leave it there for now because I've already been live for over four hours. And... The rest we might tackle as we go and we'll see like which ones we have the desire to also have. And I kind of really want to go light on the filler codes because I just don't want to, I don't want to just plaster everything with like random filler stuff, you know? Yeah. What does inverted pathing mean in context to a uh, ACNH? So basically inverted pathing is 
Um, so usually, you know, you would take the nine tail pathing and you would lay that down as a path. And for for the inverted pathing, you basically turn it around and put the path on the outside. And then basically the middle, like in between where there's no path, that's where you're supposed to walk. So I guess like the nine tail pathings are more like the grass around it. Is, does that make sense? Is that a good explanation? I don't think so. Um, Ava Kirkland, thank you so much for the brand new Prime. Thank you so much. I hope I said that correctly. Um, Ava, thank you for using your Prime on me. Enjoy the emotes and the badge and the app reviewing. Thank you. Your first Flat Island turned out so well. Also, I feel like Flat really fits the theme and the image of the endless fields. Yes, that's the hope. That's the hope. And I hope, um, We'll see. I want to do like clusters of houses. I'm a little afraid that the flat island won't give us like a good view of those areas, but we're going to try. We're going to try our best. We're going to see how it goes. The color scheme is actually my comfort zone. I love the soft beige and green tones. It's, I mean, look at this. It's cute. It's cute. It's cute. Okay, let's try and see and put down the rest of the codes and kind of test them against each other. So we already did the, the, corner stuff let's kind of do the tracks here a okay, different to our dirt path but that might work mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i watched you flatten your friend's island falling asleep last night kicking away all those filler coats looked so time consuming yeah yeah it definitely was but it's kind of fun in a weird way i don't know i don't know why sometimes i torture myself with the island flattenings but it is kind of fun I like coat shopping when playing myself, but there's nothing like it in Animal Crossing that gets my decision fatigue this bad. I, and I think I think that's where I'm currently at, to be fair. So I will put the coats down. I'm not making any promises on making decisions, though. <laughs> oh, thank you all for hanging out. I appreciate it. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day or night, depending on what time it is for you. Thank you, Cherry. All right. Okay. Let me see uh, if there were any more newspapers. Oh yeah, there was. Uh, mm, let's put that here. There was the broken, like more brownish one, and then that was kind of it, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six newspaper codes. Yeah. Mm hmm. Uh, the cricket is already annoying me. <laughs> Here is the layered blanket. Cute. Have they used, like, the same, um, shape for the newspaper? I think they might have, which is actually kind of, kind of smart. <gasps> the picnic blanket is cute. Actually fits the grass. I'm getting Northern Germany vibes because I associated with crisp, cold mornings, and Southern Germany is more of an orange, pinkish sunrise morning in my mind. Yeah, yeah, okay. I can, I, I kind of see that. Yeah. I posted a chalk by code further down in case you want to try it on the dirt. Oh, I think I saw that out of the corner of my eye. I forgot to download it. Yes. Yeah, like in the center sometimes. Yes. Okay, we got those. We have oh drain. I think drain might not work. Oh wait, maybe this one is good. I think this one, it feels like there needs to be a path connected to it, but this one here might work on its own. And that might be nice if there's like a, if there's, if there's like a, oh, what is it? What is it called? The faucet, I think. I think I picked that up from a treasure island. Let me check. Um, Faucet, I think, is way further down somewhere. Or like a hose on top of it could work too. Mm -mm -mm. There it is. Basically this here. Oh, I've got one? Okay. Okay. I love the 6 a.m. music. Me too. It's such a vibe.
That kind of could work, you know? I think that kind of could work. The random weed surrounded by codes is cute. I don't know why. Yeah. If everything fails, maybe a ducky on top. No, you're 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 very right about that. Generally, if if stuff fails, ducky. A, a, a little toy duck is going to save all of her troubles. Uh, oh yeah, let's test the puddles. Mhm. Mm okay, one puddle with a little bit of grass. Yeah. I like it. I think I like it. You can make a water ditch next to the road and leave like a tile of free and place the drain there. That's what I once did with rice fields. Wait, you could do a water ditch next to the road. Like actually in-game water, like waterscaping. And place the drain there. Yeah. Uh, Hopsy, thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. I hope you feel better. I just put toy ducks in my entrance. Not gonna lie, made it 100% better. Yes. Test it on path to Oh, good thinking. Good thinking. Obviously only goes... Oh, wait. Actually, can I put that behind me? Only goes in the center bit. Hello. Yeah, the grass is quite... Is quite green. Also, um... Is it... Me... Mish, Mishun, Misk. I'm saying that the German way. I'm not sure. Thank you for that. Or is it ML? Oh my god, I, I I feel like the lights are my eyes. Everything's kind of blending together. Thank you for that follow and also <laughs> resting stitch face. I like that name. Thank you for the follow as well. Um, in-game water or cold, whatever you prefer. But I liked how it looked on the map. Oh, true. Oh my god, yeah. You'd have like in-game path and then water. Yeah. The in-game grass doesn't match so much, but it's similar to the weeds. Oh, fair point. Yes. I mean, you know, if if stuff fails, like I still have that. Um, I still probably have like a puddle coat that's just see-through. So we can also go with that one. I like the left one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's check what I haven't put down just yet. I still have... Oh, cardboard and the stones. The stones are probably something I should try. Let me actually put the stones here. Uh, Crowborn, welcome on in. I probably will be coming to an end soon. Um, but no worries. Welcome on in. I hope you're doing well today. Okay, this one kind of basically attaches itself to other codes. So I don't know how this will work. It looks very good now because I've kind of placed it against something else. I don't know if the colors work. Use both puddles in different places depending where you want the puddle to be. Yeah, maybe. Or try one that works like a tiny bit better, maybe. That would also be an option. Uh, cardboard codes. I think we could probably find a find a moment. Finally got to three stars. Congrats. I'm going to figure out my entrance now. Oh my god, have fun. Have fun. Okay. It's so weird because I feel like the stones in comparison to like the weeds actually look like a tiny bit too yellow now. Maybe. Apart from that, did I put everything down? I think I may have. I've got the stones. I've got, like, the diagonal stuff. I didn't want to keep this one, so I can... Oh, nope. I can erase it. Uh, fabric, path, planks. I think I put the planks down. I put the newspaper down, the blanket, the tracks, the drain stuff. Kind of decided against these, I think. No pigeon. Oh my god, right. Yeah, we might still get pigeons. <laughs> there are a lot of puddles out there. One should definitely fit. Yeah. I just got myself some wafer Easter eggs. Ooh, those are addictive. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Voice break. Mm-hmm. Uh... 
Okay, well, so I think... I think, I think... I don't know what I think. See, this is the part where... I just looked at my webcam. <laughs> this is the part where um, decision fatigue gets the, the best of me. But you know what? I like... So I definitely like the idea of, like, the in-game path with the border we might get some more stuff for like in the middle so like that bicycle code i think the little lines in the center would be great i think i like the planks towards the left uh do we need oh do we need a plank path also you know like the singular planks that kind of go in circles i don't know i think i kind of like those planks i like the dirt path too uh although the dirt path com in comparison to Oh, the dirt path in comparison to the in-game dirt and also the little tracks in front of my character actually looks a little bit too cool toned, maybe. Maybe I need to find something that's a little bit more like a warmer, like orange toned brown. So maybe we actually switch out the dirt path. Or also get rid of the tracks, I don't know. I kind of like all the fabric codes that we found. I think we can, in terms of fabric codes, we could maybe look at... A few more. I know that Bambi sent a few in the Discord as well that I might just take a look at. I like the cardboard uh, codes for sure. Um, I like the drain. I think for the newspaper, I would probably go for not these ones here because they have a little bit too much blue in them, but something here. The one I, the only newspaper code I don't really like is the one directly next to the cardboard, like this one here. Yeah, yeah. I can see that. I think I kind of don't like these because they feel a bit too blue for me. But I think these two are nice. Sorry, these two. <laughs> There's a grassy path that almost matches the September grass that could look cute and neutral for the theme. Like full on grass or just like borders? I can already imagine the newspaper and cardboard on these flea market stuff or something like that. Oh my god, true. <laughs> oh, I'm glad, Subby. I can't find German codes, like where the signs are German for, for Kefian. May I try my luck and make a bike rental one? Yeah, or maybe, maybe I'll try it also. Full on grass, okay. I would still want a dirt one, though. But I'm, I don't know, I feel like with this, I mean, maybe it's just me, but I feel like with this setup, it almost looks like it's a bit out of place. Although, again, with the garden stuff here, maybe it works, because that seems like the right customization. There's a lot of, like, brown stuff. Maybe the planks also don't work. Hmm. Oh, he almost spammed the chat. Oh, my God, cute. <laughs> maybe he heard the German. Maybe he did. Oh, my God. I love that. Uh, I still have a garden chair. Yeah, because that's... I mean, that's quite literally the color of... That probably works. That probably works. Aw, Patty. I need to start heading to bed, of course. Emmy, thank you so much for the raid. And good night. Thank you for hanging out. I think we might be coming to an end too. I'm trying to think of like things to say or like decisions to make more like. Um, and trying to to for every code be like, do I want that? Do I need that? Um I think I might be I might be all all yeah, all the decisions are 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 done with. <sighs> she needed Patty needed a little drink. Oh my god, true. True. Um, I think I would send you on a little raid today. We have not been over at Tove's in a while, and I would like to show some support. tove has been live for seven and a half hours, so I'm not sure how long he's going to be on, but I feel like it'd be nice to just stop in and say hi. Yeah, just rest. The next day will be clearer. I think so, too. I feel like the different tones of brown work together because of the different browns of the trees. Oh, the chair, the table, the garden faucet. Oh, true. Yeah, the, the wood colors are probably going to be very different. Um, Alrighty. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, make sure you copy 
the raid command. Uh, either get the one with the Moline emotes if you are a sub, or if you are um, not a sub, you can use the one with the little dog and the dino and still um, hop on over. If you can keep the resin services as a 10, yeah. I think you can do that if you've got like very... If, if you've got like a spicy switch and stuff and you can get the items right away, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, quick, quick uh, info. I will be live again on Wednesday. Wednesday, 5 p.m. CEST. We'll actually start a brand new Stardew Valley farm because of the new update. This will be the first time that I will really like start a farm on stream. We'll start like a perfection save file. That's the plan anyways. I'd love if you checked... If you checked in, if you if you hang out a little bit, um, I think the next Animal Crossing stream will probably then be next Sunday. Um, but yeah, if you'd like to hang out, I'll be here Wednesday and we'll see what, what shenanigans we get up to. That'll be very interesting. Uh, thank you all so much for hanging out today. Uh, Little Hellion, thank you so much for the... Or Hell Lion, uh, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Um, I love the codes and general theme vibes so far. Thank you. I'm glad. Thank you also for finding the code, by the way, Persephone and Bumby especially. Um, I will go and start that raid so that we hop over and... Oh. Oh, I haven't raided in a while, have I? Oh, wow. This is... Oh my god, it looks so different now. Oh, it looks so different now. Okay, start raid? Yeah, I think it works. Okay, make sure to hop into the raid. Let's say hello to Toph. I feel like that's always quite a fun thing. I can't see my activity feed anymore, uh, but thank you for that follow. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, everyone, for hanging out today. Thank you for the absolutely wild hype train at the start. Thank you for all those brand new subs as well. Thank you for all of your trust and support. Um, thank you for all the resubs as well. Thank you for all the follows, the bits, uh, the Kofi as well. I really appreciate it. And, um... Yeah, thank you for hanging out today. Thank you for for just, you know, chatting with me or for lurking, um, for helping me find codes. And we'll continue with this very soon. Um, Sunday at the latest. Maybe at that point I'll have enough items and then we'll start decorating. We'll decorate for the first time on Sunday. I'm excited. And also start you on Wednesday, which I'm also very excited and very nervous for. But yeah, I hope you all have a lovely rest of your Sunday, either good night or have a lovely rest of the day. Um, where's my ending screen? I'll switch over to my ending screen and once again say uh, thank you and have fun in Tof stream. And I will see you uh, very soon. Oh, and also new YouTube videos up about the Encanto Casita in case you're interested. All right, let's hop over to Tof. Have fun and I will see you next week. Bye bye, everyone.